Okay, uh, we should be live now. Sorry for the slight delay, everyone. Uh, there are apparently outages going all over the our area, basically. Uh, so we're not sure if this will stay up, but we'll try. Uh, so, welcome everyone to the Wednesday stream. Uh, this is for the Eternal Undermountain. Uh, and it's once again a special stream. We're raising money for the Massachusetts Bail Fund to help people, uh, protesters mainly, uh, protesting the Black Lives Matters movement um, in the Boston area, make bail up to $2,000 uh, for low income people. Um, so, yeah, donate. Uh, I'm donating $5 per sub as well as $5 per critical hit that I roll during the stream. Um, if you sub during the stream, we've sort of established that you get to shoot a magic missile at one of the enemies. Uh, so that's fun. Fun little thing. Wee little eyeball. Uh, you can also check out my book. Uh, the link for the charity, by the way, and also the link to my book are in the Twitch panels, which I think are under About now, because, I don't know, Twitch changed its appearance for me. Um, anywho, uh, we're also welcoming a patron today that... Uh, it was very difficult to get in contact with everybody else, uh, so the person that did respond was Seven Seal Ursa. Welcome. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I don't Yay. have nice to know bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I I rolled randomly. I got one person. I messaged them on uh, Patreon and Discord. No response. Rolled another person. Did the same process. No response. And I was like, okay, Wednesday's coming up. <laughs> so I just asked everybody in Discord. And... Honestly, I think this is good. Because, like, a lot of us know Seven. Seven hangs out with us. And now we can we can all it's play true. with them. Instead of just me playing with them on Saturday. With mm. Malefic's game. So, yes, welcome. Um, and Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm planning on still trying to change out uh, guests for, like, each dungeon level. Like, layer. Uh, or three to five sessions, depending on, you know, how it goes. Um, and yeah, you might see you again if are. there's not a lot or of if people. Or responds. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Seven's first. just going to be with us the whole time. <laughs> um, next, next drawing, I think I'm going to include $1 patrons as well as $5, because I just don't have a ton of patrons. Um, so that'll probably help a bit. Anywho, uh, last time. And then we dip into Alley Stream. Yeah, we dip into Alley Stream. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, last time on the Eternal Under Mountain, or rather in it, uh, you guys fought some Manticores. Um, close battle, but you guys took every advantage you could, uh, locking them into a corridor and trapping them in uh, Hunger of Hadar, which I realized afterward I forgot to do the end of turn damage because some of them ended their turns in that aura. So they would have been dead a little sooner. Um, we'll forget about that. Uh, wow, thanks, Chris. <laughs> uh, you guys uh, went south to investigate uh, a basilisk corpse filled with centipedes, uh, and also went and got ambushed by a black pudding, which did some damage to some people's armor, and after finding a field of statues, we found uh, that Newt's little flute was able to free one of the petrified people, uh, their name is Del, and he's going to be played by Seven Seal Ursa this time. Um, he is a Gloom Hunter Ranger, uh, and yeah, that's where you guys kind of pick up now after fighting a troll. Uh, the last thing to happen, well, I guess I'll get into that. Let's just go to the stream, shall we? Uh, all right. So, uh, I'm on the wrong thing there. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Is his icon what he's supposed to look like in the game? Uh, it is now. Okay. So, uh, you guys were cornered by a troll in this little hallway, or at least you cornered it. Um, after finally defeating it, and Oso had a, a minor panic that Del might be betraying them because he accidentally shot his friend Blue. Um, but... Cademan and Blue were able to calm down Oso, who is still in lion form. Um, you can be in that form for up to an hour. Um, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. Um, <laughs> the only other strange thing that's happened since then is that a uh, 
several platters of meat have just appeared on the tables in the room adjacent to you. Oh, right. It was like rotten meat. Like it smelled really bad, right? Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. a foul smell just came across your nostrils. Uh, so yeah, the room is yours. Are we still in initiation? Initiative? Like initiative order? Yeah. No, no, we've no. Been you can do whatever you want. Uh, okay. My apologies, but I ain't going anywhere near that lion until he uh, stops being a lion. So <laughs> I'm happy to stay over here to the left and keep an eye out down both hallways. Who gives you a thumbs up? Smart. And look at Oso. Oso, can you, can you like do that thing? Just go back to normal, please? Oh no, he's fine to stay it as, as it is. I'm just going to be at least 30 feet away. <laughs> Hey, I've yeah, I've calmed down. Um, so distancing I'm protocols. Just, I'm just like, it's kind of licking my lips. Do, do, like. do that thing you know. Do I that like. thing you know. Do that thing you know. So I don't mean to block the way here. I'm just gonna move off to the side. Yeah, big, yeah, big goon. My big, my big lion rump is in the way. Hmm. You stalk into this room, which I've described before. It's basically filled with empty uh, banisters, basically, I think the word would be, for uh, once holding tapestries on the walls. Probably the wrong word. Uh, but the tapestries have long since rotted away. Otherwise, there are these two long tables here, surrounded in chairs, some of them broken, and then just this stinking piles of meat on two platters. Or several platters. Are they okay? Yeah, there's there's platters on both of the tables. Yeah, they're on both of them. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna like sniff around. Can can I do like a a smell check? <laughs> uh, sure. You can make a perception check. I'll give you. Well, do you have advantage as a lion? On um, I have keen smell, I believe. Yeah, you have keen yeah. smell, so you have advantage on this check. Okay. Um. Uh, so just make a perception check. Why do I always skills? That's right. I always go to abilities. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, pretty good. Uh, you go over and just kind of smell around uh, at the meat. It still smells rancid. Uh, very rotten. Different parts that you can tell. Like they seem to be all from all sorts of different animals. Um, you can pull out some like rats and like grubs and uh, as well as some heftier animals probably monsters uh, but otherwise it smells very authentic <laughs> you know authentic. <laughs> authentic. all right well, I'm gonna check hallway real quick all right uh, you head down into the southeast corner of the room, where there appears to be a hallway leading east. Well, actually, I also want to go around the whole room and just check the walls for anything. Sure. So, um, investigate, I guess? Yeah, make an investigation check if you're, like, looking for secrets. Y'all, come on back and let me know if you find anything. I'm just gonna keep my sad little tush over here. I'm going to sit next to Blue Sad Little Tush because I'm hurt and pretty bad. Cademan, you haven't really found anything unusual about the walls. There's just little scraps of dust coming from the remains of the tapestries. Uh, good. Uh, pardon me, but from which direction did you two, did you all come from? South or north? Mm, came from the south end. I mean, the north end. Apologies. We were mm. down in the south area over there too, where you are, but it's Boy. not much down there. I understood. Um, do I remember anything from either of these two directions going on the left side of the map going up or down? Uh, yeah. So you guys came from the north. Um, you guys briefly looked down to the south before the troll attacked. Um, but otherwise... Uh, Del, make a intelligence check 
to recall the history of the dungeon from when you were once exploring it. Oop. Okay. So from what you can tell, it seems from the wear and tear of this place uh, that it's probably been about a year since you've been uh, petrified in there, and there are like some corridors that just aren't quite making sense, as if the dungeon itself has changed a bit. Um, not many, but something seems off. Otherwise, you know that um, there isn't much uh, further beyond this point, at least not that you know of. Um, a lot of the stuff is back from whence you came. Fair enough. Um, well, if everything if everything else is safe over here, then if, where are y'all trying to get to? Skullport. That's right. Think she. <laughs> yes. Roar, roar, roar! Says the lion. <laughs> I yeah, call it a shame. I, it I said that was, too. I wasn't in character. <laughs> Thanks. It was just me. Uh, and would I have to eat? Uh, well, a bit of a native to Skullport, but I, if you don't mind, I don't necessarily want to return there myself, but I'm happy to lead you on that way. That would be great. This place is a maze. It is, and uh, at least from what I can tell, things here seem to change. So the way I may know is may not be the fully correct, but at least I can get you going in the right direction. Change. You're saying that the walls down here decide that they want to move? Well, they are certainly different than they were a year ago. Hmm. Well, if you can help us on our way over to Skullport, that'd be much obliged. Uh, so would I know if Skullport was the one going from the one going to the passageway going to the east or towards the south? Uh, so the south, uh, is probably the direction you want to head in general, but you're not sure which corridors actually bring you there as a whole. But working yep. one's way south will help uh, get further. Alright, um... Too much going on in this room, so... Yeah, because we went... If we went east, that would leave. Uh, that would just send you guys off farther off in the wrong place. So, so, they're this way or this way. What? I thought we were going south. I, I mean, rar. <laughs> yes. You guys haven't explored the southern corridor. Which is speak for yourself. Sorry? Cademan did. Oh, he did? He went down that corridor. He went around the corner. Well, I don't have memory of describing what was in those rooms. Oh, I didn't see. I don't know if we went very far, but I do remember we went around the corner. You went around the corner uh, and then a troll attacked. And I don't have my memory. Seven doesn't have his memory. So. Now the DM's losing his memory. I don't um, have my memory. <laughs> I'm going to take a move. Yes. I go back I'll... down this hallway. See what's up. Alright. You head down the hallway. It turns to the east. Alright. Carefully. Carefully. There is a corridor Looking that you can see uh, heading back north, as well as a door ahead down to the south. The room to the north, uh, it seems to be similar to the one that you were just in. Um, I don't have tables there right now, but there are uh, two tables, this time adjacent to each other at the long way. Um, so it like starts here and yeah. like over here. Do I hear any chatter from the... You don't hear anything. Room. This room seems right. empty. Alright. Is there like rotting meat in this one too, or no? There isn't. Um, there's a lot of like trash and stuff on the ground though. Lots of all lives matter posters and stuff. The, right. um, oh shit. 
was gonna make a joke, but I can't remember it. <laughs> this is full of shit, don't worry about it. I'm shit. In. Oh, the Undermountain Autonomous Zone. There we go. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do another wall perimeter check in this room. Okay. And there, there's walls. There are walls. You have seen them. Uh, much like the other room, they are covered in moldy tapestries. The room is about ten feet high. Ew. There are, there are walls. You've seen them? I'm so immersed right now. <laughs> well, he rolled you a five. You know it's a wall. He rolled, rolled a, five. a five. He would have gotten so... a natural 20 if he was being assisted. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Nope. I got this, guys. Quick question for the, um, so I don't have any spell slots remaining at all, right? Just because of the exhaustion from the being trapped in stone? Uh, no, you should have, uh, your spell slots. Maybe I didn't put them in there? No, you, yeah, it's because slots, it says just slots remaining zero, so I'll just crank it up to four yep. then. Yeah, uh, just crank them up to max, you should be full. Okay, uh, then can I use one of them to cast Goodberry and give five of them each to Blue and to, uh, the little goblin girl who decided to hug my leg? I got, I got a name. What is your name, miss? You're gonna have to try to say it because I know that you don't want to. <laughs> it's new. Newt. 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 Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Newt. Uh, you, um, you do understand that it's a bit of a odd circumstance, so give me a few minutes to get my bearings, but I do apologize for hitting your friend blue here earlier it's all right he was to. just stone he was stoned out of his mind um so cademan with your investigation check you uh don't find much information about the door uh much like the others you've seen it's uh wrought with iron and made of wood um but otherwise it seems unlocked um you try and open it but the door seems to be stuck. Stuck? Uh, like, jammed on something on the other side? Yeah, it would probably take strength to open it, or force. Uh, can I... Can I try to perceive what's on the other side before I do that? Sure. Sound, I'm assuming? Yeah. You can take a listen at the door. Not persuasion. You can talk sweetly to the door. Um, Hell yeah. You listen on the other side of the door. There doesn't seem to be any noise coming from the other side. Uh, for Blue and for Newt, uh, the bear, each of the bears uh, restores a hit point, and I'll give five of them to each of you. So hopefully that helps tend to your wounds, at least moderately. Mm. Mm. They disappear, mm. I think, in uh, an amount of time, but you can add those to your inventory. I'm gonna eat four of them right now. Them. Yeah, you can eat them yeah. right now. I wanna eat five right now. All five? Yeah, I have 11 hit points. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, they lose with their potency within 24 hours, but. Uh, okay. So. I give Newt one berry. So she has six. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I'm gonna look up with you with big ol' eyes and eat the berry. Berry, damn it. Newt shoves a bunch of berries into her mouth and feels better. Uh, Cademan, make a strength check, or athletics check, if you're gonna intend to try and open it. I used all my good athletic rolls for hitting a lion. You want some help over here? Yeah. You hear a voice from the western hall. Preferably. This door seems to be jammed. Uh, well then, come over to him. Can, uh, can I attempt to make an athletic check with advantage or to help Caden? Mm, sure. Yeah, you guys can no. help uh, each other. So one of you can grant the other advantage. Um, I think Del might have stronger... Oh, does he? Yeah, he's... Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Perfect. So he left down the hallway, right? Yeah. Uh, so you, with your assistance, um, you're able to finally, uh, with a few swift, uh, shoulders, 
slam the door open and you hear uh, a clatter on the other side as well as the sound of something falling and hitting the ground something soft and wet uh oh mm-hmm. I don't think I like, I don't like the sound of wet things in here. No. Do I see on the other side? Is it a different map or? Uh, no. I just need to grab the stupid door. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> it's not letting me grab it. Uh, you look inside of the other room. It's rather awkwardly shaped, but immediately on the other side, propped up against the door, there appears to be a maggot-eaten corpse of what was once a dwarf. A uh, female, it seems. She's wearing uh, tattered leather armor and a leather skull cap. In one of her hands, she's clutching a dagger, and in the other, there's an empty tin flagon. Flagon? Flagon. Flagon. Yeah. Flagon. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I've never had to say that word, I've realized. Um, Ever? No, it, I don't think so. <laughs> but the pellet with the poison is in the flagon with the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch that movie. I don't understand that reference. Ah, oh, fuck off! You're watching it. I've seen that movie. I now understand that reference. He's ragging with the dragon, swinging the flagon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, the room has a few benches in it, as well as a bunch of trash. It's like everybody's zooming. Got the zoomies in the uh, upper corridor. Shush. I'm I'm slowly moving my big old dragon butt down that hallway. I'm in hurt. Uh, was there anything in the upper uh, corridor right to the north of us? Uh, Cademan checked there... the walls to the best of his ability. Um, he didn't see oh, anything. Also, can I find your back? Yeah. All right. Thanks. I'm All right. And I'm gonna um, heal Blue. Okay. Uh, you touch her. And uh, she is restored as her wounds begin to knit back together. He. He. Uh, he. Sorry. I know, I love gonna happen. opposite gender characters. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to sound like I'm a big old southern man, but... I know, I know. My voice don't get that <laughs> low. I think that's the first time I've made that man. mistake. Voice <laughs> the only thing that gets Chris excited now. <laughs> you gotta help when you can roll your R's. R. Uh, but not that low, I can't do it that low. Fuck. It's like a growl at that point. Uh, So yeah. Otherwise, in this room, there's uh, some benches around the area. There's um, there's some other skeletons as well on the ground, uh, and several like cracked open barrels, just a bunch of uh, refuse and stuff. There doesn't appear to be any like meat in this room, but there are two round tables, one in each square of the room. Uh, can I use my short sword to kind of roll over the dwarven corpse and check, make sure that maggots aren't still riding through it, or it's not gonna come back to laugh? Sure. You you flip over the corpse uh, easy enough. It doesn't seem to react to you at all. Um, there are a few maggots still in it, uh, but not enough to be like a maggot swarm or anything crazy. Hmm. I guess kind of at this point, can I go around the room and, and check to see what the doors? Because they had to get in here somehow, because... Well, does it look like she died of anything in particular? Poison, stab wound? You can take a uh, medicine check to try that out. Okay, so with a 15, um, it looks like she probably died of natural causes. I didn't like that hesitant natural causes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I believe they trapped themselves in here. Or were trapped, but that doesn't make sense unless there was something holding the other door on the other side. Because it looks like there's the, uh, like a drop bar that was, that we splintered to get in here. Uh, no, there wasn't, there wasn't any drop bar or anything. Um, she was just, like, leaning up against the door. So she was keeping something out. Mm. I say, I say in my normal form. Was that Cayman? Yeah. 
perhaps a troll. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to do another wall check. Okay, you skirt along the walls oh. and get a natural 20, a.k.a. a 19 for you. Um, you know sorry. where Spellport is now. It's funny every time, mainly because you've rolled like three natural 20s for investigation. Yeah. This is just the first one that's applied. Um, it's still a 19. So you're skirting along the walls, trying to make sure you don't miss any secret doors or anything. Um, and as you do, you do come across not a secret passage, but there is a pack of supplies uh, over here on a bench, just kind of sitting there. It's still filled with stuff. <laughs> the stuff. Hecker. Uh, hold on. Okay. I'm going to head back up to the passageway, just kind of look down and make sure nothing's coming. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Dell takes point on the door. So, inside of the backpack, there appears to be five candles, and a crowbar, a hammer, five pythons, um, a bunch of spoiled rations. What's a python? I thought it was a pitten. Pitten? I don't know how to pronounce I, words, dude. Pitten python. Uh, it's the. It's climbing gear equipment. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like, it's like a spike. spike. It's an With iron a spike. Ringlet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, so there's five pittens. Um, there's also just a bag of ball bearings. Looks like some sort of burglar's pouch or something. Ooh. I'll probably take the pittens and the ball bearings and then the other stuff doesn't really... Actually, and the candles. Okay. You said there was five of those? Five candles, five pittens, uh, and ball bearings. There's a hundred in there. Holy shit. They're little oh. tiny balls. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Is Blue still there for you guys, or did he disappear? Blue's still always there? there for me. Blue's in the doorway. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just south of me. Okay, I'm a torch now. I can't see it. <laughs> it's right underneath Oh, I you. see. Oh, I'm... yeah, the torch is underneath you. Thank I tried just moving you, so hopefully that Oh, helped. okay, okay. Anywho, uh, Cademan, in addition, you did oh. find... Uh, because you this is like for your whole search of like the walls um you also found uh just sort of underneath of a loose tile you found a small gemstone it's probably worth about 25 gold pieces it's oh, yeah. uh, sardonyx Twenty-five, right? Yep, 25 GPs. Blue, uh, you're looking around the room, but you don't really sense much uh, yeah. in terms dead of end. danger or anything else. It seems like a dead end. Um, Did he investigate all the walls? He did. He got a natural 20 with that. He didn't find any secret passages. Oh, He's kind okay. of a pro at this point. Alright, no need to brag. Of walls. I believe we should keep going in the other mm. hallway. Mm, that's fair. Uh, I said south is the uh, way to go, right? Right, but if there's no doorway coming in around here, there was nowhere the... else to. I hate this place. Uh, excuse, excuse me, baby cat. What'd you yes, say to BB? Baby. Are you talking to your? <laughs> are you talking to Bean? Are you talking to your cat? I know she is. Oh, Bean, I miss Bean. Yeah, that's gonna take some time. I know. I know. Right. If only we had another hour. Guess I'll wait for everyone else to go over. Sure. Before I travel down this hallway. Um. And if you want in the future, if you want to return to a place uh, that you've been, you could probably just tell me and I can drag all your characters so it doesn't take so long. 
I'm RPing. What are you marching down path? One second. Oh. Realized I couldn't see. Okay, cool. Okay, you look down this hallway. And BB uh, looks down the hallway as well. Once she gets to the hallway, she perceives that in the distance, <laughs> he. Uh, he. Damn it! I'm gonna keep doing it now. Uh, Press the bar. Not, not intentionally. <laughs> I know. It's like when, when, when Jules I... played Papa, Papa Jules. <laughs> the uh, name's different. Just think of me a big blue scaly dragon. That's what I want to be in life. All right. <laughs> uh, imagine your big scaly blue dragon that you want to be. Um, so, Blue, you look down the hallway. There's a door on the eastern wall. Um, you guys have torches out. Uh, it does seem to be painted. Uh, it's a strange green color. Otherwise, um, the end of the hallway seems to end uh, in the just in the brinks of your uh, light and dark vision. Um, there, there seems to just be a cave in at the end of this hallway. Uh, can I go inspect the cave in? Sure. Can I do it slowly? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I want to look for traps. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do so slowly. Okay. <laughs> I'm also See, on his back. Caveman just so doors you know. are not really your expertise. Walls, yes. Walls doors. Are, but you, anytime there's anything different, I, it's, <laughs> it's an yeah. absolute mystery. Uh, yep. Yeah. May I make an investigation check as well? <laughs> I Please think the more eyes we have, the better. Uh, you certainly can, and I'll tell you the the. Oh. Fine. You guys just kind of look around, and you're just kind of bleary-eyed and. <laughs> Man, what's going on here? Oh my god. Are we in the Undermountain? <laughs> or still? Um, so, uh, under, this is the Underdark, right? <laughs> if it's for traps, I have advantage. So it's the... Um, okay. Yeah, uh, also, no in investigation because I'm on his back. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, well, you can, you can make uh, your new check if you'd like. Um, so, BB okay. and Dell, you two manly men... Uh, you investigate that doorway. The doorway, um, as well as being painted green, uh, it seems oh, to have a cast iron carving, uh, just mounted on the front of the door. It's got a smiling, bearded face. Um, it looks vaguely sinister in appearance. Um, it's got two horns, as well as a, uh, gape mouth. No! That? Oh what my I god. Oh, I know no, no meta. No meta. <laughs> Gosh, what could this be? Is, wait, is, I mean, is my character doesn't even see that. So. No, it's this is just a small, like, oh, oh, a little mounted down. iron little ornament. It's like a really bad looking door knocker, but it's maybe about a foot tall. Okay, so it's like the labyrinth like door knockers, except it's still cool. Otherwise, uh, you guys don't really find much about the cave-in. There's just a lot of stones and stuff. It looks like something must have just burst through and caused the cave-in at some point, and nobody's cleaned it up. The infrastructure is cool. really suffering here. Ugh. <laughs> is there, like, a... Uh, is the door locked? You're not sure. There doesn't appear to be any door handle or anything, aside from uh, just that mounted thing right yeah that's what I, I was push the door open without touching the thing sure you open the door me as I back up feet <laughs> so be, be careful blue it it's just seems door. like a regular door we should be fine I'm having and trouble grabbing fireball. this door Oh, what is going on? Did it eat your mouse? No, uh, it's not the mouse. It's actually just the fact that lines are hard to grab in this. <laughs> you open the door, and on the other side is a flat stone wall. The room is bare, except for a piece of paper uh, that is nailed to the wall. 
Oh my god, let's read the piece of paper. Don't, no, 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 don't go in there. Can I, can I read it from where I am? Um, it's five feet away. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little hard to see in the torchlight in the dark. Make a perception check. Um, nope. Yeah, it's a little hard to make out. It's in cursive. Uh, can I reach, <laughs> can I reach, um, I say, uh, can you get on my hand? And then I, like, I'll, I'll put her out. Okay, you, like, hold her, her out, out <laughs> like a child. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm super tall. You, so she's, you just don't I'm want her to like touch right the floor, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you're shoving her into the danger. Got it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> danger zone. If the air safe. is trapped, we're all fucked. So yeah, safe from pressure plates. You... I said, don't read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh my god, is it a curse? You hold out Newt, and uh, Newt. It is written in common. Um, it says, uh, "This wing is reserved for the Archlich, Archlich Acerarach." Oh, good. Put me back! Put me back! Put me back! Okay, pull you back. Pull you back in. What did it say? Um, I can't pronounce this. Uh, I'll put it. In, I'll put it in the chat. Acerarak. Acerarak. Yeah, Acerarak is also Ferrarac, appropriate. Yeah. The dick. Acerarak. So, what do we do about Acerarak? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think we should even bother with this Acerarak thing. Do you want a skull port? That is, is that, that is exactly what it says. Renovations are underway. Renovations are underway. I don't know who it is, but if, maybe perhaps if we tried the door knocker, it might change since the hallways themselves seem to move. Yeah. Well, if we knock, sometimes yeah. knocking actually and being polite ends up being. And a good enough way in order to get through some magical doorways and entryways. So if it doesn't change, then we know it's we have to go someplace else. Yeah, you knock. Pull the door back and close it first, and then we should knock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you close the door, and then uh, I guess try the knocker. Who's trying the knocker? I guess I held the door, so it's gonna be me. Yikes! All right. Did you take that healing, by the way? I did. Blue, can you make a wisdom saving throw? Oh, no. For fuck's sake. Uh. As the knocker rings out, kring, 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 the face warps into a devilish grin, and then it changes even further. Um, and takes the form of a old man with a withered white beard and long white wavy hair and skin that is dark gray. Its eyes are piercing red and it looks at you with flames coming out of its mouth and it says Who are you? What are you doing here? This is still a carving, right? Or like a, a knocker? Uh, think think it, the labyrinth It, it came looks alive. almost real. At this point, <laughs> okay, it's like yeah, some dude's head embedded in the wall. It's a head, yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not a whole body. Gotcha. Well, my name is Blue, and we're just trying to find our way onto Skullport. Sorry, this hallway is reserved. Not for you. Good day. Before you go, could you just point us in the right direction? We don't mean to no. be in trouble. Did you say no? No. Just... Excuse me, sir. Please. What? Who are you? She said please. I, I said excuse me, sir. You're excused. The form oh. disappears and turns back into <laughs> a uh, iron bearded devil face or whatever. Uh, and blue, you take awesome. uh, one psychic damage. Because it was so horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Cademan, uh, Ardell, I think one of you might want to try to knock, but maybe say that you're 
this is Sarak, fella. Maybe he'll let us on through. If you want, it's... I'll give it a shot, but... It's true, he did just ask who we were, right? He told um, me I was excused, and he left. I will cast Disguise Self and make myself look as... I guess magish, magish <laughs> as I look. Okay. Um, and then I'll knock three times on the knocker uh, loudly. You knock three times, and once again the face forms. <sighs> I told you that. Wait, who are you? I am an envoy. The Lord Osorok, I demand passage into these halls by his honor. Make a deception check. Oh, sorry, that's an issue. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I punch it! <laughs> fighting the door. Then we're fighting nope. words. <laughs> he looks you up and down and says, Dear God, you've put on weight. <laughs> Wait, you're not a Sararak. You shouldn't be here. Stop bothering me. I won't tell you again. And he disappears and transforms back into the iron face. Oh, it was worth a shot. Nah. But uh, I don't think we'll be getting through here fairly easily. And trying again might piss that thing off. It kind of uh, something itched at the back of my skull. It wasn't anything pleasant. Um, I really want to just stab him with my sword while he's talking, though. Can I have each of you make a history check? You sure can. I guess. Nope. You can't. <laughs> just nope. can't. Uh, so, um, Blue, you vaguely recall the name Acerarak, and it is indeed a powerful lich. But that's largely all that you really know about this enigmatic figure. But wow. you do recall that um, the other figure that appeared probably wasn't a Sararak. Um, because a Sararak is undead. <laughs> this person seemed very much alive. Um, furthermore, the rumors that pass by in your mind seem mm. to implicate that that might have been the face of Halister, the creator of the dungeon. But it could have just been some crazy old man. Hmm. Could have been. Kind of I would give the information to the party. And... To the party? Not to, to, the the party. party. To, to the party. Yes. <laughs> wow, yeah, so what should he take? <laughs> um, I we think we're just playing? finding a dead end here. Anything we got better luck mm. finding our way down another hallway. Indeed. All the way back north. Do you guys want to go to that northern hallway? Yes. Okay, yeah. I can drag all of you if you want. I wanted to check out the collapsed area first before heading out. Okay. Uh, then I guess you guys can waddle over there on, of your own accord. Oh my god, do you guys want to call him back and I'll play my flute for him? Oh god. <laughs> you can oh, do it if you want. Do you, yeah, but what if he gets mad and then he won't ever come back? Well, push your luck once is one thing. Push your luck twice. Still going three times. <laughs> the third time's a three charm, times. they say. I, I have heard that. Oh my god. I ain't saying nothing. He seemed pretty mad, though. <laughs> he did. <laughs> All right, oh. uh, blue. There... If it's something you think Newt would do, then... you don't see anything probably unusual not. about this cave-in. It's probably too much effort to try and clear it. Hey! Okay. Fuck that noise! Yoink! No, oh. I tried <laughs> to pull you. Um, we're going north? You can. We're trying to find our way back south. 
Uh, out of curiosity, is there a way to minimize the large square portraits? Yes. Yeah. In the gear in the top right. Actually, you tell them, Allie. I'm going to go turn the fan on. Okay. Yeah, so the settings. gear at the top right in the settings, it'll show how to display names, and you can change to names only. So it's like large, medium, the medium. very bottom. Oh. Or just make them smaller. Oh, that's so much better. Mm. Yeah. I was struggling yeah, as it. well. The default setting is like, takes up half the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This should be ideal. If you have issues with um, rolling, say if your computer is also slow, uh, within that same area, there is enable 3D dice and automatic roll 3D dice. You can turn both of those off. Um, your numbers will still be calculated within the chat, but it'll just... It, you'll notice if you step away from roll 20 and you come back, it will spam all of the GIFs and, and visuals if it didn't happen in time. It's fine. Gotcha. Anyway, you guys head back to that same room. Uh, there is a hallway to the north, as well as the one that you have investigated before. Carefully proceeding with caution. Well, which is it? Proceeding carefully or with caution? <laughs> I'm so going to climb on Oso's back again. Okay. <laughs> I climbed okay. I moved towards you and you climbed on like it was just second nature already. <laughs> why I moved forward to you. That's I so just funny. look up with my hand and put my hands in the air just expecting <laughs> to go. <laughs> like a cat. Like a cat, yeah. Cademan, there Long is a cave in there's Long a cat. There is a cave in at the other end of this hallway. Fucking Damn it. Can well, I go I'm... along the hallway and just check to see whether or not I find any secret doors? Sure. Make an investigation check just for the whole hallway. Uh, and you don't trigger anything as you walk down it. Yeah, you're pretty confident that this was probably a cave-in caused by some sort of commotion, probably spellcasting, um, that disrupted the structure of the hallway. But so it probably goes on with the other one down on the other side. Mm. It seems like it could relate can i can i mold earth can like dig dig through this thing i i recommend not we don't know how severe this cave in might be you might cause yourself more damage is it magic I wasn't asking you asking the dm you, you detect magic in a 30 foot radius but you don't detect anything unusual wait Wait, wait, what about now? Uh, it's it's still going, um, but uh, yeah, you still don't sense anything unusual. Did you say what about now and cast it again? Yeah, I moved closer because it didn't know if I was in <laughs> Let me just roll my investigation check uh, 12 times. Uh, but also, yeah, you could theoretically do that, um, although it looks from the look of it that there are some severely uh, large boulders in the way deeper in. The mold earth might not be able to get through those. It's probably more effort okay. than it's worth. Okay. Well, I believe we have to go back I'll take Chimera the void from my head. Chimera? The, the manticores? The manticores? The men, of course. Wrong winged yeah. keep Ranger. Do you want me to... Yeah. If you guys gather, yeah. I can take you back there. Yeah. Just just sure. gather in the table room near the pause yeah. button. I was going to do one last check on the table. Sure. See if anything stands out is different or weird or... Uh, yeah, you look around uh, and nothing's really changed since you left this room. Um, the meat is still there. Uh, a gizzard of some sort has slopped onto the ground. Flies have started to gather. Not sure where they came from. Um, you never know where they came from. They just look at the ceiling. It. Does any of that look like troll meat? Um, make a nature check. Does it look charred because we charred it? <laughs> no, it looks fairly uncharted. Um, but <laughs> I hate it. Uh, it also doesn't appear to be troll meat. It's various beasts and monsters, but 
mostly not troll. It's probably something that a troll would eat. Hmm. I thought it. I wonder if or not the troll was coming up here for its dinner time then. And like someone was using it to patrol the halls. Oh, good one. <laughs> oh my god. Can I look at the ceiling? Did it come from the ceiling? Uh, no, it just manifested out of thin air. Uh, but, Newt cast a detect magic, so she would feel anything in this room. Uh, there is a faint. You're you're right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was like, DM, do your DM thing, and I was like, do the thing. So, uh, the Newt, thing. um, there is a faint, lingering sensation of conjuration magic, which could indicate some form of teleportation took place, but it's it's gone at this From point. From the room with the meat? Yeah. Since, since we've been in that hallway, this has happened? No. Uh, oh, it's okay. It probably happened a while ago. Oh, okay. It's Why barely that registered. Spook you out? If it if it happened when we walked away, absolutely, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like... Probably remnants of something else good that your, was set up. Good your immersion's <laughs> working, because nothing happened. <laughs> okay, uh, so where are you guys heading? Because Cademan went north, BB went south. I'm just on Osto's back again, you know. Um, we already went south, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. there's we nothing down there. I guess north is where we came see from. Only, but... It's the only other way left to go. Yeah, let's just keep going all the way past. Okay. Uh, do you want uh, me to drag you guys there? I yeah, I'll just some of you... I'll stay right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming direct control of your minis. <gasps> We're being picked up by the back of our scruff. <laughs> 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 and you all came through those to the double doors before, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is right. a big hallway that you guys came from. The door on the south where we found you. Uh, that, that was the other area that we were in. Jesus. But we didn't find any other doors that head further south. And so it's through, like, through the large doors on the left and then further north you haven't been through? Uh, you have not. Cademan, you look around this hallway and although you don't really see much, there's a few little um, like piles of muck on the ground, and there's a horrifyingly rancid smell coming from this hallway that you're looking down. Fucking as stinks well. in here. Don't like that. And, oh. Del, I'm gonna have you make a survival check. Uh, do I have advantage on this? Um, it's not a trap, uh, or anything. Damn. Okay, um, so... Yeah, from that you can tell that the little piles of muck on the ground, they seem to be bits of gristle and meat as well. Um, though perhaps much older. Ten little piles of muck on the ground, ten little piles. Like if the troll grabbed the meat, then continued walking north. Hmm. It seems to not only describe a trail, of heading north and south repeatedly, but also to the west through various uh, of sets of these double doors. Um, can I put my head up against the, these doors and see if I hear anything? Uh, sure. Perception. Unless this place changed again. I'm... God damn it, too nasty. <laughs> Near certain so close, that, so that was far. where the Manticore were. Uh, it was where the Manticore were, and just to be safe, making sure that nothing has doubled back, um, the doors do not yield any sort of sounds on the other side. Alright, so the mountain, so you say mountain gores came from there? I'm gonna leave that closed then, thank you very much. Hmm. Well, we got them all. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure about that? This way. I'm pretty sure. We... We got most of them. Oh, so... Do you have any, like... 
Do you have like what? I was gonna ask if you have any fancy spells that can help us just skip this whole thing and go down. Down into the ground? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Fraggle Rock? I could mold Earth for like a couple hours if you want. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, um, Minecraft. Can I try and push open the door just to see whether or not there's anything on the inside? Uh, you can just very but, quietly. Uh, it actually takes two people to open those doors. Ah, uh, gotcha. Mm, they're very heavy stone. Mm. Cademan, you look into this uh, other oh. chamber in the north. There are piles and piles of filth and fecal matter, as well as bales of hay uh, that have been torn to shreds. Um, but otherwise, Corm's not. Been here. <laughs> otherwise, not much in this room. God. Yeah, you look inside, and uh, there are about, like, two tall stacks of platters uh, that are, like, covered in grease and grime and blood, um, but there's just, like, stacks of essentially dirty dishes in this room. Alright, well... Nothing. So, what is left? From the looks of it, go back you seem, west, you seem right? to have exhausted most of the paths this way. Go towards here again. I believe we have to double back. Okay. I feel like we're missing something, but yeah, we got no well, nowhere else to go. Might as well head on back. Oh, I'm so, sure we are. So all three of these sets of doors don't. <laughs> they all lead all to lead the, the same room. room. Do you guys want to go back to the west? Isn't that the room that the manticores are in? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You have to go past that, back to that hallway with all the statues or whatever that's in it. On another map is just why I'm asking. Yeah. I, think I can that's take where you we there. Have to go, but... Well, Cademan said yes, so it's unanimous. I guess yeah, I'd be following. So yeah, let's do yeah. it. Bring us back. Take us there. Whoa. Oh, hi, buddies. Uh, yep. You guys have your... Oh, Bean is there. He should not be. Oh, Die, hi. Bean. <laughs> A I phantom. <laughs> He's back. Oh, no. Guys, the weirdest thing just happened. Kid What's man. that? I, I thought... I, I looked in that corner, and I thought I saw Bean. Hold on, Cademan. Uh, so... That is a pile of manticores. It's difficult to get through, um, and as you approach, trying to squeeze your way through the middle of them in between these like uh, half-broken statues, <laughs> one of the manticores starts moving. Didn't you oh. learn from the centipedes? <laughs> this is Resident Evil. You got to kill them twice. Um, <laughs> So, uh, one of the manticores starts moving. You sort of backpedal in surprise. Uh, what do you do? What's your instinct? I don't. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. This dude's fucking... I, uh... <laughs> help another five feet. <laughs> okay, you, you just kind of back up. Um... And then investigate to see what's... Sure. Uh, it I move. am gonna have you make a perception check. Yeah, you're too uh, far away for investigating, if anything. It doesn't matter. See shit anyway. Uh, Blue pushes you aside and he's gonna shoot it. Yeah, you're not sure what's going on with this thing. It appears to be slowly shifting towards you, its weight moving awkwardly in between the stone statues. Uh, Blue, you fire off a shot into the manticore corpse. It echoes down the hallway. You hear a shriek on the other side. And then the manticores both start moving. And 
they start to oh shove off to the side as a gigantic grub-like creature with tentacles all over its face uh, surrounding its bug eyes starts to push through and try and attack you guys. It begins oh, no. shoving its way through. Let's roll for initiative. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, whoops. Use the second one. Oh, good. Damn. Uh, good. What Someone is me? a torch. Um, what about me? What about you? Did you roll for initiative? Oh, I thought you were rolling for everybody. And I was like, attempted to use it. Oh. I thought you were going down the line. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're 14. I'll put you there. Okay. Getting music for this beast. BB, you have the initiative. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just attack. Okay. okay. That's, <laughs> that's up to you, man. Uh, okay. As the thing is starting to push through these manticores, you fire off your gun. Um, let me just check a Rooney. Yep. Uh, the first one is a hit, the second one is a miss. Oh, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, you deal seven piercing damage to the creature. Uh, is that the end of your turn? I'm going to take a step behind the statue and use this cover. Okay. Uh, are you using one of your attacks to reload? Is that... Uh, I used... Yes. I will use the other attack to reload, because the... Because we finally pistol... found out how that Palm works. Pistol is a bonus action. Yes. Uh, okay, so move on to Newt. It is your turn. Alright, I'm gonna move like here so that I can fire past Cademan and do an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> that hits. Uh, the blast of like uh, these small little tiny creatures. Since you don't have your uh, familiar with you, they're kind of like lessened in, in grandeur, but it's still <laughs> in the same amount of force. Uh, 11 force damage, to be exact. Uh, the creature takes that blow to the face. You have a second attack. Will you take it? Yes. Then have at you. <laughs> Ooh. A second hit <laughs> for uh, four force damage. I said it wasn't that lessened, but maybe it's starting to linger out. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, are you all set with your turn? Yes, I will do my. Oops. Okay, Kidman, it is your turn. Okay, that is. Oh, Kidman. Okay. Oh, Kidman. <laughs> right. Uh, you invoke the powers of your forge deity to create a sacred flame. It's going to try and escape, but I'm going to give it disadvantage because it's squished in there. Ooh, yeah, it fails. Uh, it takes nine <laughs> radiant damage. The creature is starting to look very bad, uh, in a bad way, as it were. Uh, okay, is that it for you, Cademan? I'm good. You duck behind one of the statues. The creature finally musters enough power to scramble through. And it just attacks, uh, honestly, I guess Cademan, because Cademan's slightly more in the hallway? Hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna roll to see who he attacks, because you're all, like, in the same area. Okay, he actually attacks Del. So this carrion grub crawler thing uh, heads out and the first thing that it sees uh, is actually you and it is has going... no acro table it has no acro table <laughs> god why can't this fighter keep aggro uh, yeah. it grasps at you with its tentacles I don't think a 13 hits you uh, 14 so it just misses Okay, uh, its tentacles grab for you, but you duck behind the statue in the hallway uh, and kind of clatter its uh, its tentacles away, beating them off with your mace. Um, 
and then it moves to bite you. Uh, Did you beat his tentacles off, you pervert? <laughs> Oof. Uh, so as its tentacles uh, are be busy being beaten away, it follows through with a bite attack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say ah? Uh? <laughs> Either way, it hits you for eight piercing damage as it takes a chunk out of your shoulder. A chunk? Holy shit. Oh, and then it ends its turn. It's sort of stuck in this way. Uh, Del, it is your turn. Also seems pleased. Uh, that all right, I'm it. going to... Bonus section, Hunter's Market. So do I just... For that, do I even get some spell on it? Just click uh, on it? You can, you can just... Uh, yeah, if you go to the spell and you click on the word, it should just throw it into the chat. Okay. Roll twenty is not as fancy as fantasy grounds. It doesn't apply effects. Gotcha. Hmm. Or... It didn't do it for some reason. Does uh, fantasy grounds cost money or what? I think it has an initial cost. Mm, it oh. shouldn't because I have the Hunter's Mark two days of free. Oh. For the. Oh. Well, at least as a bonus section. But... No, he said, does Fantasy Grounds cost money? Yeah. Uh, it can at times. Yeah. I'll message you in Discord so you know. What's weird that it's not putting it in the chat? That's very weird. Um. Okay. Well, either way, we kind of know what it does. It gives you a bonus d6 to damage on each of your attacks. Yeah. I'm pretty so sure it's each, make... not just one. Right. So I'm gonna make two attack... I'm gonna make three attacks with a short sword. First one... Uh, I guess, why did it do short swords to the mace? Okay. Uh, so the... Then... So a 13 just barely hits. Okay. So it's the 13... Second attack. That is also a hit. Uh, so, with the Hunter's Mark and whatnot, that is a lot of damage. That is just barely enough to kill it. Uh, as it squirms towards you, uh, it tries to back uh, you into this corner, but you skid onto the other side of the statue, and then just slam into it with your mace, uh, and supposedly your sword, uh, and finally stab it through. You must have hit something vital, because it quivers and dies. And now there's another thing in the hallway. No. <laughs> No, that there's no more enemies. There's just another thing, uh, uh, fucking in the hall. Oh, <laughs> locking the fucking uh, hallway. Uh, I was like, what? Right. How are we gonna um, get? Uh... So are we done? Can I mold earth and bury these guys like to the side? <laughs> bury them to the side. Um, or just push them. You can't really push something that big. Push them over there. Watch me. Oh, can, a lot you of it, us... can you turn into a lion and then push him? Uh, with multiple people, you could probably carry it and push it. Like, it, just... it doesn't require just one person to do something. Yeah, if we just all push him to one side, that oh, I'm gonna go up first. Put him over there. Ah, Hack with my sword. <laughs> Not really. Okay, uh, you guys kind of uh, concert your efforts and shove this thing uh it's probably gonna be a it's probably best to um, shove it like back out into the manticore hall kind of what if we just shove it north to like the between the statues, between the statues again? Statues? I, I guess you could uh if you okay. just shove it to the side you should be able to squeeze through those manticore corpses as well manticorps Manticorps. Yeah, manticorps is something i've been wanting to say for a long time <laughs> we, should try not, we should try not to come back on through here, just saying. That thing came over to eat the manticore, or something's gonna come along, eat them, and that carry on thing. Carry on my way. Get out of here, Alabama. Hey, we don't want to get DMCA striked or whatever. 
<laughs> yes, because you have to sing everything accurately. You can't Thanks change the, the words. On key. Uh, can I keep? Can I like as we're going down the hallway? Can I check for um, uh, secret passages or whatnot? Sure. Make an investigation check as you head along this hallway. Most of these statues look identical, if not for just little bits of wear. Uh, yeah, you're not sure if you found anything relevant uh, along here. It doesn't seem like there are any secrets. And that's the door, right? I can't North. get back. Uh, yeah, you somehow moved through the wall there. It let me go through. Probably because oh, of the torch. To clip Is through it. passage? She... No, it's just the door that we came through from before. Yeah, I just closed it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you did the door skip successfully. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get you much speed in this run. Damn it. Uh, okay, so there are several doors in this hallway. Um, they've sort of closed uh, as you've been off adventuring. Well, this one up to the north over here, if I remember correctly, had that water ceiling. Have you been through all of them? Uh, I thought I went through here. I yeah, don't. You guys have explored each of those hallways. Uh, I think Newt tried to explore this one, um, but then backpedaled. I yeah, I didn't go through the mm -hmm. door. Because everybody went, wanted to go down back down that way, so. Oh, sounds like a good place to start. Well, let's go this way then. So. I guess, can I put my ear up against the door and see what I can listen? Sure. Make a perception check. You do not hear anything on the other side of this door. Then I shall check for traps, and if no traps, open the door. Okay. Uh, investigate. Yeah, you're pretty confident that there's no traps here. <laughs> then I attempt to open the door. Okay. You attempt to open the door. As do I. Yeah. <laughs> as you open the door, there is a closet here. There are a few broken broom handles and a bucket. There's a shelf on the wall that has little cans of dried up probably chemicals by the smell um and as you just kind of look into this broom closet a sudden flash of light appears and newt uh as you detect magic you detect some magic coming from this flash of light uh it appears to be some form of divination magic and as this flash of light coalesces, it takes the form of a blue eyeball. It looks around the room and darts between each of you. It lingers on BB for a few seconds, but then eventually the eye blinks and disappears. Can I do a history check on it? Um, sure. So, uh, judging by your history and your general knowledge of the, um, the landscape of the Undermountain, um, this is a common occurrence. You've heard tales of people just seeing eyes randomly appearing, uh, in places throughout the dungeon. They're largely mm -hmm. harmless from the tales that you've heard. Oh, yeah, didn't we see one before? Was it blue, though? I'm pretty sure. And it was like... I thought it was we've, purple. We've heard that because this guy watches the dungeon, basically. Mm-hmm. So that's not metagame, that's weird. what he said. Got yeah. some weird voyeurism thing happening. A weird pervert. Um, and I didn't get it! Is oh, that so closet a, a secret closet to somewhere? Hello. Uh, 
might Sorry. be to Narnia. Was, was, <laughs> was that a question? Yeah. Like, did is it, it a secret detect... hallway to somewhere? Yeah, like, would the detect magic figure that out? Could you take the... Uh, you do not and... detect magic anymore. Okay. Alright. And none of the statues were given off any magical essence while she walked down with the detect magic on? Nope. Uh, there didn't appear to be any magic there. There was this weird dude in another statue we found there once. <laughs> I don't know. Must be a jerk. Don't know who okay. you're talking about. He was a real jerk. <laughs> Why are you on? I shot Blue one time by accident. It was not my decision to actually shoot him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it was an accident? I said it was an accident. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember. I was a lion. What do you want? <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> uh, okay, it seems that Cademan, are you investigating that door? Uh, yeah, one I don't you, remember, did I? You have that? passed through that door before. On the other side, there was a whole league of vampires. Well, let's not do that, then. Yeah, that was the, the, the group. Yeah, that was the... I thought it was the other door. I mean, we can uh, go ask them for now? help. There's a whole... Oh, sorry, you actually weren't there. Um, technically, <laughs> so they can fill you in on that. I think they were mad that we killed one of their brethren. It's Just trying to say, gay. hey, what's up? And we're like, bang, bang, shoot. They're, yeah, <laughs> they're gay. They, they like highwaymen. They like to go and, you know, take some money off the people passing through. What? Just another toll. They started it. Oh, it best be we we not interfering with them again, so that we have to pay them even more money by killing our faces. So y'all didn't make many very many friends through your trek down here to the dungeon. Yeah, we made you. I guess you could say that's not much. <laughs> In so far, I think we've only been made acquaintances. I don't know necessarily about it for friends. It's like a lot of stuff going on. Uh. Cademan is off uh, exploring. You guys are yelling at each other from this hallway. You're like, essentially having a conversation about 40 feet apart. Yeah. And Cademan has wandered off. <laughs> look at door. Whatever that is. Okay, uh, you look at that door. You, without... Um, so you do make an investigation check as you're investigating the door don't see any um, forms of uh, traps here. The door does appear to be locked, uh, seemingly from the other side, um, and just as well you hear voices coming from the other side. Probably assuming that goes to the vampire room as well, but what are these uh, uh, circles? Uh, those are pillars. I didn't put like dynamic lighting on them because it would just be annoying. Don't worry about it. Can I go up here? You certainly can, my good friend. There is a corpse in that corner. It's filled with puncture oh. wounds. Uh, is it moving? <laughs> no, no, that was the one from before that we saw. Mm, it's still there. We are making no headway to find the gold pool. Can I inspect the wall? That's why I'm here. Ah. The whole area. Cademan, uh, you head up into that hallway. There appears to be a uh, Watton Dauble like set of walls, uh, oh, as well what? as a uh, pair of double doors. There is warm light coming from beyond some uh, window panes. So oh, there is a door. There, there is two doors. Um, do you call the others, or? Probably. I believe oh. I found something. Okay. It's a little yeah. promising. This is definitely new. Yes. Uh, I'll inspect. Was there even a passageway here last time? I, I swear I came back here and that was not there. There was nothing here. Didn't this lead to that weird water place? No, that was... No, that was the other one. Oh, God damn see, it. I don't... 
remember. And like, way, this place way changed. beforehand. Make a history I, check. I did say that it does change from time to time. Hollister does not, um, like keeping things boring. Ah. Fuck uh, me. Yeah, Cademan, you have, like, stalked down this hallway, um, but you don't recall seeing this, and it's only been, like, not very long. Like, maybe an hour? I think we took a short rest? Yeah, you took a short rest. That's about it. This is... nonsense. Yeah. Well, shall we proceed? Ain't no other way of going unless you feel like waiting around for the rest of the room to change. I open door. Okay, attempt, you attempt open the door. Uh, We're not gonna check it first. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. you open the door. Oh, there is yes. soft music on, coming from the other side. There is a seemingly tavern fuck. of sorts. What the you fuck on the happening. other side? <laughs> Of this door. Uh, there is nobody in here, but there is a small Shiba Inu on the bar stool, and it's running across it uh, with a little towel in its mouth, seemingly wiping it down. As soon as it sees you come in, it uh, opens its mouth, barks, and drops the towel, and then jumps behind the counter and up onto a small stool. Oh, I'm ordering a drink. Uh, hello? The dog looks at you. You a person that is disguised as dog? It tilts uh, its head, confused. I say, one elven wine, please. It opens its mouth and starts panting at you, and then kind of like gestures downward towards the table and then back up to you. Oh, I uh, give it some coin. How much? Oh, I don't know. Uh, a silver? I don't know how much stuff is. Have I heard um, of or encountered this place before? You have never seen this place before in your life. Have I heard of it? Uh, no. Is Newt's huh. Detect Magic still going? Newt's Detect Magic still going? Um, it's probably been ten minutes since you've investigated, but she can cast it at will. I got this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as Newt begins uh, casting Detect Magic, uh, oh, so you drop a silver on the table, and the dog looks at it, and then looks at you. Uh, I drop another silver on the table. It just continues to stare. Uh, I, pardon me, I will go up and I will <laughs> drop... Uh, does everybody want something? Uh, yeah. Del, as you enter the room and uh, speak, everyone just kind of like glances over towards you. Um, the dog barks, and also as you look back, there is a small tinkle uh, and a tinkle? a mug of ale has appeared in front of you. Your silver coins have disappeared. Nice. The dog <laughs> barks twice. Uh, I will Thanks. put down a platinum piece for a bottle Jeez. of wine, please. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Get it. Well, it's good. A platinum piece. The dog uh, stops uh, panting and looks down at the platinum piece. It starts wagging its tail and looks up at you. Um, it hops off of its stool um, and opens a door and walks through it. Well, there's a doggy door on the door. It just kind of is <laughs> <just> underneath. Is <laughs> where they keep the good stuff. <laughs> you hear some rummaging around, and then uh, another door opens, and the dog comes out, and it is rolling a barrel, a small <laughs> barrel of sorts. Uh, That's adorable. A little tiny keg. It writes the barrel with its paw, and then keeps its paw on it as if it's like shaking uh, your hand or whatever, and then it just starts panting and looking around the room. What a good boy. Uh, is it a small keg or a large barrel? or It's maybe like um, two feet in uh, diameter and then like maybe three feet tall. It's a pretty big can barrel. I, can I try to pet the dog? Can I pet that dog? You can certainly try. Make a sleight of hand check. 
Oh, he's at work right now. I see. <laughs> you Ooh. move towards the dog, and it barks at you twice. But uh, after sort of uh, maneuvering your hand around, you get underneath of its ear, and it starts it starts moving into the the scratching, and then starts kicking its leg. It then uh, I'm gonna need you to make an animal handling check. How good is the scratch? Oh no, we'll find out. Oh. Newt, the dog has gone onto its back and is fully initiating yes. a belly rub situation. Yes. I give him a full belly rubs, please. Belly rub situation. <laughs> you give him Love as band. many. Love him. You give him as it's many the position. Yes. belly rubs as Y'all can wants. keep your drinks. I got puppy. Uh, I down my drink and then I want to. I'm gonna go talk to this Undertaker thing. This Undertaker thing? What is Ooh. this Undertaker minion? Uh, I don't see anything there. Am I the only <laughs> one who sees that? I don't I, see anything. I think you are. That s must be a glitch. <laughs> cool. I see nothing. Because no, I was I like, I guess we've just been ignoring this guy the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> try, try reloading the page. <laughs> so I was imagining things now. <laughs> well, I did drink my drink. <laughs> hey, should we t oh, should we kill this nice. guy sitting over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna take the barrel, set it up on the bar. Um, does it have a spout to it? I'm sorry, I just saw the image in Discord. <laughs> there is just a dude sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know if it's weirder now that I didn't react <laughs> to it and everyone else was cool with it. Or... <laughs> oh, oh a vampire. Hey, cool it. dog. Hey, <laughs> cool dog. What's up, dude? I'm sorry. I got distracted. What did somebody just say to me? Um, oh, I was going to take the barrels, set it up on the counter if the dog would let me. Does it have a spigot? Uh, It does. Uh, there's a spigot at one end of it. Um, do each of us uh, have a tankard available, or does it... Uh, as you look around the room, like, asking for a tankard, you hear a uh, several glass tinkles, and there are uh, four or five mugs uh, just now resting on the table in front of you. The dog uh, barks. I will uh... take mine, fill it to the brim, and then go sit down at the edge of the, at the bar and have the first drink in a year. All right. Whoa. There goes that coin it. of yours. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh, more thoroughly investigate the area and see if there's like a map on the wall, a directory. Okay. Or just general investigation of this I place. Say to sure. Dell, it, it's not worth it. All those months of AA, you were doing so good. <laughs> Dude, he was stoned the whole time. Not <laughs> worth it. Oh, that's why you haven't had a drink in a year. <laughs> exactly. Pay him no mind. So, uh, oh, so when you turn into these animal sides of you, mm -hmm. can you talk to animals? Well, I don't need to turn into them to talk to them. Wait. Can you talk to that dog? Maybe we can ask you for directions. Of course. Oh, did you want to talk to the dog? Maybe. Oh, so. You think I was talking to the dog when we walked in? Oh, I can talk to the dog. We I go up to him. Figure out where we're going to go. <laughs> I cast uh, Speak with Animals. You invoke the nature spirits, and it kind of sounds like a little transforming noise just deep within your body. Um, and... As your vocal cords transform. You emit a few barks of your own. The dog looks at you and, like, kind of tilts its head. It barks back, and you understand it. It says, Hey. What brings you to my domain? Jesus oh, fuck. it's deeper than yeah. I thought. <laughs> um, I like your uh, place here. This is We just came by for a drink. Then you have a home. Oh, that's really sweet. How long you been? Uh, how long you been in business? 
I've actually just opened this location. Really? Yes. Uh... But in order to partake of your drink, I must ask a favor of you and your companions. Okay, is this dog about to give me a quest? What is your name? What do they call you? Well, I don't know my actual name, but people call me Oso. Oso. I demand five minutes of belly rubs. Sure. Oh, but... and I, um, it assumes a position. I look at Newt and I say, do it again. <laughs> All right, I got this. Newt, you start giving belly rubs. Oso, you... Just kind of see the dog uh, receive the belly rubs, and you just hear it go, Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Little, little lower. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> that hit okay. the spot. Thank you. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. It starts barking. Oh, stop. Stop it. Stop it. All right, all right, sorry, stop. stop. You're hurting him. <laughs> Let him go. It, He's had enough, it, damn it. Is... The dog sits up. Thank you. That was Anytime. much appreciated. Please, stay as long as you like. No creatures will harm you here. But what if I want to live here? I'm afraid that is not possible. Why? I am only here on Saturdays. <laughs> That's weird, because it's Wednesday. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> everything vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Snap pops out of existence. Uh, I do have a question for you. Yes, my wooden friend. He starts sniffing around your feet. Uh, I back up a little, like a scooch back, like a couple of in his territory. Lifts the leg up. <laughs> feel like he's gonna, yeah, I'm like worried he's gonna pee on me. Fine. Uh, um, how did you? Would you get a bank loan for this place, or how did you exactly set up shop here? This has always been mine. Home. Where are you going? Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's got the zoomies. <laughs> He's got the zoomies. He uh, jumps up onto a stool, then up onto a table. He grabs several of the uh, mugs with his mouth, like by the handle, and then uh, starts walking over towards the counter. Wait, so they can... Hold on. He they can appear what? magic. They can appear magically, but he still has to wash the dishes. He puts them if behind he, the counter. He tell you where Skullport is. Uh, look, I'm getting to know him first. All right. Newt, uh, I didn't really explain <laughs> things to you, uh, but in the midst of your belly rubs, you had forgotten to uh, finish casting your spell. Uh, finally, as the dog disappears behind the counter once more, you come to your senses and cast Detect Magic. There is magic everywhere. The entire place is absolutely overflowing with magic. It's a rave. It's one of the most powerful <laughs> auras that you've ever heard of. Whoa. Fuck, I hate this dog. It is mostly gonna... conjuration magic of sorts. Uh, I'm gonna ask the dog a question. Okay. Are you real? It looks up at you and tilts its head. Are you? Okay. Oh shit! Is any of this real? I get dizzy, especially after that drink. <laughs> Alright. It's good. Next week on Black Mirror. <laughs> I mean, I exist outside of this room, do you? I don't leave. This is my home. Have you, have you ever tried? I don't need to. I Why? have everything I need here. Except customers, am I right? People come, people go. I get some belly rubs. I chase some people out. I do what well... is necessary. <laughs> oh, so has he told you where Skullport is? Look, I'm just getting to know the guy. I don't want him to think we're all business. Inadvertently, you just keep barking at Blue. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> park, park, park. All right, whatever. Just, like, uh, in your face. So I, uh, I'm gonna say, do, do you know your way around this place if you never leave? 
I know tales. Do you have any idea where Skullport is? I've heard Skullport is deeper in the dungeon. He knows oh, tales because he chases them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just automatically assume Chris meant like tail, not like a tail. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> um, how do I get deeper? <laughs> um, I have heard tales it. of these things called <laughs> stairs. I have not seen them before, however. Cool, cool, cool. cool they cool. terrify me from what I've heard tale. Yeah, they're really <laughs> terrifying. Anyway. Um. <laughs> I think if I were ever confronted with them, I would probably just stand at the bottom or top of them and bark as I am wont to do. <laughs> same. Same. Totally same. Um, I'll give you I, one Kyla point for that, for your stare pun. I look at everyone and, and bark as if I'm trying to communicate, like, what do I ask him next? Uh, I guess I, like, lift my shoulders up, like, if do um, how the rest of his blue and it is still pretty beat up. So would you ask him if we can rest here for an evening? I would love to long rest. Yeah, um, the spell slots are shot. <laughs> do you mind if we uh, take a take a nap here? Do you have anywhere for us to sleep or rest up? Rest where you like. This place is I yours. I shut down immediately. <laughs> Ed. I guess that means yes. <laughs> yeah, power down immediately. Uh, Kaden, I'm not going to communicate to you. So, Cadman, you've been investigating the place thoroughly as Oso's been barking back and forth uh, at this dog. <laughs> and uh, there's a, like a glass case over there where you are, um, as well as like a sofa. Uh, the glass oh. case is just filled um, with little trophies and knickknacks it seems one says um best in show uh and has oh. a metal dog on top of it um another one just says second place uh it's kind of covered in dust there are a few oh. uh ceramic plates and whatnot that appear to have uh just sort of stained images of dogs upon them the wallpaper itself is white with pink dogs uh in vertical stripes uh all along the walls. That's uh, adorable. Otherwise, the <clears throat> room seems fairly innocuous. It's just... Can I just clear something up? Yes. Uh, this dog has never left this place, which means he hosted the uh, dog show in this tavern. <laughs> um, which means he gave himself second place. Which is kind of sad, but also I respect it. <laughs> this dog knows humility. He gets, yeah, you stay humble. It's modest. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe this tavern exists within a space, um, like within a city. So whenever he leaves, he just always leaves and goes into that city. He whenever he walks did. in, then the tavern's in a new place. Like he never the leaves. anime restaurant from another world. He said he never left. Well, you don't know that, but I'm talking to Alex. I know. Yeah, yeah. He's never left. I'm talking to Ben. Like, we don't know if he's never left. He could be lying to you. He's a I dog. know. Dogs don't lie. How dare you? They're pure. <laughs> he doesn't know the meaning of the word. True. Not a cat. Cats would lie. Cats would lie. Cats only lie. Cats only lie. <laughs> cats only lie. <laughs> I don't think a cat's ever told the truth in his life. Cats don't know what truth is. Exactly. Only no lies and deception. Um, so yeah, I'm, are, are we taking a long rest? I would, I would love to. Like yeah, you can certainly do that. Let's right. do it. This is our uh, first long rest as a group. Aw. So the uh, dog goes into the back room through its doggy door. Um, after a while, it returns and places some plates uh, in front of you guys carefully uh, with each trip. And they seem to be just covered in this sort of beef stew-like concoction with like carrots and peas and 
meat in like a sauce. Uh, and he just seems to give that to you and offer it oh, to you. Oh no. Oh, I definitely eat that because that, that's like a hearty meal. Oh, <laughs> BB would love that. Is there kibble in there? It kind of reminds you of like wet food. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Alpo. <laughs> well, this guy's kind of small. It could be Caesar's. Oh, wow. Little Caesar's? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of that dog food one, though. Right. Did you say it was small and it's Caesar's? Well. Can I bring me back, please? You certainly can. Yes. During this long rest, you expend 10 gold peas worth of, uh. Of bean fluid, and bean uh, is brought back. <laughs> the toad, I mean... uh, much like the same ritual as before, uh, you open a seemingly unholy portal to like the shadow realm, and a frog hops out from beneath of it. The and then hell is that? It hops <laughs> into your hands uh, and starts croaking. I'm uh, gonna go over here and claim this corner is mine. Thank you very much. This is my brooding corner. Do not enter the brooding <laughs> corner. <laughs> she just summoned a toad thing from some extra dimensional portal, and all the rest of you will wrap with that? She just bean. It's okay. You good it's people. Weird. I'm know. a but kind of adorable. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna finish my drink and then I'm gonna go to bed. And I will just kind of lean back and just kind of sink into a corner and sit my tankard, eyes never leaving the toad. <laughs> I don't trust that toad. <laughs> it blinks at you one eye at a time. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't seem to do anything. It's also got a snot bubble, don't forget. It also has a snot bubble, canonically. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys uh, pretty much spend your long rest here. The little dog comes in and out, um, and you are otherwise undisturbed during this rest. You guys have all your hit points back. You regain your level 5, so three of your hit dice. Um, That's all of mine, yes. And you have all your spells back. Spell slots and all that. Thank goodness. Oops, I just... Oh! No, <laughs> you're dead! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, and also I'm going to say... Since I didn't really say it last time, uh, you guys have inspiration once again. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Right. Boop. There you go. I'll give one to DL. There you go. Well, after resting, I'd probably go back to the counter and put a gold down for breakfast. Can't right. get enough of that dog food, huh? Uh, you head up to the counter in the morning, or, you know, what you consider morning after, uh, you start waking up and other people start waking up, uh, and you head over to the counter and pluck down a little gold piece. Uh, you hear a jingle from around the counter. Uh, the dog was seemingly asleep on a little doggy bed that it pulled up behind the oh. counter. Uh, it looks at you, uh, and then quickly rises to its feet, uh, and starts wagging its tail and panting. I say good morning. It barks Not loudly. Hopefully wakes up everybody. <laughs> everybody is woken up. Oh my. I'm up now. I forgot what hangovers are. <laughs> Breakfast, please, would be... I put bean on the table. Yeah, you haven't had any water for your either. Maybe you should have started with that. No, I wanted beer. Now I, mean, I want I water. <laughs> uh, Della, you coffee. say, I want water. Uh, a glass filled with water appears on the table. Can I, I please you. have a water for the lad? Much obliged. Water appears all around, uh, just out of the corner of your eyes, and just as well. Um, I'm crying? 
as you guys start uh, sipping from the water, you also hear plates uh, slam down on the tables. And as you open your, uh, as you take a look, you see that there's a full, like English breakfast sort of situation there. Oh, uh, man. Eggs, beans, toast. Tomato. Tomato. Yeah. Sausage. <laughs> toast. Got to have the tomato. Why? It's just. It's just a flavor thing. It goes That's... really good on top of the beans and the sausage. It's just part of the English breakfast. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Um, I don't need to eat, so does anybody want mine? Please. The dog looks at uh, you and growls. Oh, wow, insulting. Um, I turn around and pretend to eat, I go, Mmm! It starts panting again and wagging its tail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, walk over to Dell and I give him my plate. I, I say, uh, sorry about yesterday. I guess uh, you're okay. I think we've all just getting along a little bit here and there. I'm, I'm, Still reacting to things. Just remember the last thing that it was was a giant, vicious looking creature, and then, oh, I'm getting attacked by another giant, vicious looking creature, and then you turned into a giant, vicious looking creature, and oh god, everything was going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> yeah, waking up from. I don't know. From nothing can be pretty scary. Uh, I know what it's like. I don't have my memory either. Really? Yeah, Blue found me in a forest. Just... Story again. <laughs> well, no, it's true. Like a, just like a tin can full of nothing? Mm. Sort Tink. of. Kind of covered with moss, bird poop. There wasn't Basically. that much poop. I'm sorry. Who's the one that woke you up? You were. <laughs> yeah, but you also seem fairly disgruntled, so maybe a little bit less on the bird poop side. <laughs> yeah, nice. We'll call it 50 50. <laughs> but, well, I guess that it means we're partners in kind, and I'll stick out my hand. Uh, shake his hand. Say, I guess so. Pleasure to meet you. It's, uh,. It's, it'll be interesting working with you, and hopefully we can uh, move past what happened. Yeah, you're going to be safe with us. Yeah. And again, my apologies for shooting your big scary lizard friend. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Shiba Inu has gotten up on the other, or on, up on the table, and it has started sniffing the toad. Uh, I told I you. I told you that to, thing's weird. I go to Bean and I, I tell him to get on me because I don't like the I don't like the look he's given you. Mind your manners. Don't put your feet and friends and weird things on top of the countertop. He was thirsty. The dog barks and uh, takes out a towel and then starts wiping down the table. I thought you were going to say knife. Takes out a knife. Takes out a knife. And I whip out my gun. <laughs> no, it just uh, starts, like, skidding back and forth with its towel along the table. Uh, and it's just cleaning it. He whips that towel back and forth. Whips that towel back and forth. <laughs> uh, finally, it sits down uh, and whips the towel over its shoulder. Um... And then it barks at Oso Bark. a few times. Bark. Um, I look confused. Um, but so what is it, girl? Somebody trapped in a well? It barks three more times. I think it might want to talk to you, Oso. Okay, I talk to it again. You cast Speak with Animals, and it says, "I have done some digging, as it were." A <laughs> good one. Thank you. What? Thank what? you. 
I have found your skull port. It seems to be to the southeast on this level. The southeast on we this level? We were just there. Taking no I'm taking notes. Right? You will probably Boom. have to pass those creatures to the south to get there. Fuck. Those dicks. What, what creatures? What do they look like? Vampires. The humanoids. Humanoids or dogs? Is humanoids? Okay. Um, that's, you know, that's the word for humanoids. Human shape. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's, it's word for it is bork. The tall <laughs> one. <laughs> Long pig. Long I pig. Mean, <laughs> tall pigs. It's, it's uh, a cannibalism joke. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Anything else? No. That is it. <laughs> I um I thank you I, for your customers. But I swear you're gonna say patronage. That really threw me. Yeah. Hey, hey also, uh I don't think we ever asked him his name. I um uh, I tossed him a gold. I said, Thanks for the tip. And I say, What's your name by the way? He catches it in his uh in his jaws. Uh as you say, uh Ask him what his name is. He puts the coin on the table uh, and just starts panting at you. Then he says, Boy. Boy. <laughs> Good boy. That's a great name. Boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> boy. Um, his name's Boy, which you don't hear because I'm just barking, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, you can talk to them. Uh <laughs> I just thought it was funny last time. <laughs> I'm still gonna bark at them. Okay. Hello, oh, boy. Um, I I scratch his ears. I say, well, I guess we should get going. Thanks for I, everything. I bid you safe travels, my friends. Yes, right there. Yes, yes, right there. <laughs> Thank All right, you. this is weird when I can hear you. Um, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> Farewell, travelers. Let's, um, GTFO. He says it's to the southeast. I tell them everything. <sighs> Means we're going to have to pay them freaking creatures more money. They did Why? say they'd want more on our way back. Why don't we just beat them up? Take their money. Yeah, let's take their money. Me and me and you are just like let's fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. So many yes. stuff. Technically, we could. They don't seem like they're kind folk, but it doesn't mean that they're doing anything wrong per se. Asking for a toll. Right, but what are they doing a toll for? Just that's gardening? extortion. Uh, no, they don't Guys, know this place. Step out of the tavern. And there is a whoosh of air behind you. <gasps> the that tavern is gone. There. Damn it. No! Boy! Oh, boy. One single drop of sap appears from my eye. <laughs> Slowest falling tear. Yeah, it's really slow. Do you just have like a wad of sap on your face from the I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sensitive topic. That is pretty metal, but <laughs> Yeah, I look like a I look like a death metal. My face is just melting away. <laughs> uh southeast, southeast, southeast. Uh, Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, southeast! Well, if he said that it was then through the, the deal with the creatures to the south of us, or was it back through the other chamber? Uh, I would remember where that is, but I personally don't. But Osa would. I mean, I believe that we ended up taking the north passage when we first came in, right? After we fought off the bug bears. So I believe the south was the direction we needed to go. Right? We all right. in accordance? We understand what's going on here? Uh, sure. Uh, sure. 
so I, this is what I'm talking about, how I would have remembered exactly where we came from, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do. You are aware that roughly you've traveled northward um, as you've been going along. Yeah. Don't forget Bean. Yeah, there was a, oh, a no. southbound corridor like right after the the bugbears with the brain puppies, but we didn't take that because I think we were warned to not go that way. Tell us we were on the southbound corridor. Because there was a writing on the wall, which I said yeah. was probably false. But nobody listened to me. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, so, you guys head up to this door. Uh, you... I guess you can do what listen you want. Listen first. Uh, you listen to the door. You do not hear much on the other side. You might hear some distant sound, but you can't really make out what it is. Uh, is there enough space underneath this door for me to like slide a mirror underneath to kind of check to see if the creatures are still on the other side? I'm going to say probably not. Okay. This door seems fairly solid. Well, ready when you guys are. So, just so what are we doing? Are we actually going and attacking them, or are we going to talk to them first? We oh, will. I think we're actually going to talk to them. We should talk to them first, and if they do not want to cooperate, then we shall see. Just remember, cooperation means 20 gold per head, if something like that. 10 or 20 gold per head. Perhaps we negotiate. Alright. Well, you guys. Push on the door. On the other side is an empty room. Oh, thank mm. God. Towards the opposite end, you see that there is that strange bone throne at the top of the dais. Love a good bone throne. I, I wave everyone on. I was like, we should move on quickly. I'm a dais. Okay. I'm a dais. I'm uh, a dais. You guys, from this room, you can hear distant voices. Uh, there are several of them coming from this door. Did you ping? Why? Which door? Uh, the north. Can I go oh, up okay. to it and make a perception check to see what I can hear, if they can hear what they're saying? Yeah, certainly. I'm gonna try and um, move everybody else this way while he's doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna be stealthy, or at least attempt to be stealthy first. Okay. Uh, definitely, yep. Uh, oh. so... Oh, <laughs> Fuck, why did you even bother? <laughs> habit, like really old habit. <laughs> because if you don't say you're being stealthy, the, the DM assumes you're not being stealthy. Exactly. That is kind of true. So, uh, Del, as you go up towards the top door, the this door seems fairly ramshackle. Like, um, it's. Uh, it's not iron bound or anything. It's just kind of flimsy wood on hinges. Uh, as you take your uh, ear up to the door, it starts to move and it lets out a small creak. Uh, as you're hearing the voices, the voices say, Shh, "Wait, what was what was that? What do you do?" Well, I, that was the position. Um... Uh, shit. I cast. Did we hear that? Uh, I step around the corner and cast rope trip, rope trick, and climb up it into the interdimensional space to hide. <laughs> oh my god. All right, uh, I'm gonna say, yeah. per the like flavor of this, um, I'm gonna say instead of like a rope trick, it's kind of like a meld with stone type deal, and oh. you you kind of just open a door into the stone and then just kind of move inside, and you hear like a little, like, and you just kind of move inside the stone. Okay, Nars, I mean, uh... Nahiri. Yes, her. Yes, her. Uh, okay, you do so, and uh, I won't move your character into the wall, but I, I will assume that you are, yes, invisible. 
<laughs> uh, even though okay. you are in an extra dimensional space. Uh, yeah. So you move in there. What are the rest of you guys doing? Moving everybody quickly through the door. Go, go, Waiting go, go. Look yeah, that. Okay, make stealth checks, all of you. Except for Adele. Freaking character. There. Oh no. Jesus. Stop. Can I use my inspiration? You certainly yeah. can. Use that inspiration. I guess I just roll again. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And Pop then up. one for Bean. Okay. Bean, what are you doing, buddy? Is what Bean are you doing, being my married or um, I guess I oh, guess Bean can use yours if if you want. He's just slapping Bean. on the ground. Okay, you guys <laughs> quickly head into the other room, uh, and kind of pass through the door as quietly as you can. The door doesn't seem to make much of a creaking noise, uh, and you're able to get it just slightly mostly closed um, and you guys uh, here on the other side a door quickly open and then you hear someone go who's there eh, probably just a rat and then the door <laughs> slams shut but you don't hear any further noise yeah, I'll let a sigh of relief and quietly move out of my extra dimensional space and join the group. Okay. Would you uh, like me to just make another stealth check? Um, I'm gonna say sure. Do so at advantage. Okay. Yeah, you're able to sneak away fairly quietly. Um, the creatures are not really <laughs> alert, as they've already sort of checked for intruders. <laughs> yeah, for the you, that's a, that's a big rat. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys walk past that uh, bone throne and into this hallway that you guys have come through before. Mm -hmm. Never forget a bone throne. Uh, Del, you've probably gone through here a long time ago, but... For the rest of them, it's fairly recent. Was that bone throne there before? Um, yes, it yeah. was a oh, year ago. As well as those that creatures remembering? The creatures you do not recall. You've never seen them. While I walk down this hallway that we've been before, can I pay a little more attention to the walls and such? Sure to make sure we're not make uh, an investigation check as you go along walls are so my thing mm. you don't sense anything unusual uh, as you go along that's fine can I check up this corner again you Uh, yeah, you certainly can. Whoops, don't want to do that. <laughs> just all the forms at once, just like... Yeah. <laughs> just this oh, big blob good. creature. <laughs> uh, yeah, nope, you don't see any unusual things about this uh, hallway. Um, let me see if I can get a description going, because I know it's been a while. Um... Yeah, like, what are these things? Uh, so yeah, uh, there's nothing but just, like, uh, various reliefs along the eastern wall for you, Oso. Um, but there's nothing really too unusual about them. As for the rest of you in the south, uh, you go and... Oh my goodness. Is that an airplane? <laughs> oh my god! Where's that not coming from? <laughs> Uh, so, down in the south, uh, you find these three statues. Uh, each one seems to be... Um, they are depicting uh, nobles of Waterdeep wearing plate armor. 
I look and, at Dell and I say, you know these guys? <laughs> uh, your friend? Do I know and then I giggle. You do not. But you as well can intuit from their appearance that they are made to look like uh, water deep nobles. Uh, not anyone specific, per se. I was making a statue. Well, like statue. the Mask Lords. They very much look kind of like the Mask Lords. Mm. Uh, they aren't wearing masks. Uh, they do have names uh, at the bottom of them, which you guys had seen before. Elendron, uh, Ruathandar, and Onthalas. And they've all been crossed out with uh, names less like respectable yeah like written beneath them uh in order uh north to south it's smelly bottom stupid skull and born toothless <laughs> um so what are the have you guys been through all these images in the far, so, or was the one that you were i remember but do we remember which way which doors of these we've opened before and been through uh like so hallways? also with his wanderer trait uh, knows that you guys have been through uh, this door and this door. So not here? N not there. Blue no kind door. of went down there. Did you look over there? I, I like, looked. I, uh, I guess perception check while I'm looking around. Well, there was something obviously over there, but I wasn't able to describe it because you moved away so quickly. Oh, I mean, I went around the corner to go and look to see what was there, yeah. Okay, uh, so around that corner, you do see that there is piled up against the west side of this hallway. Uh, over here, there is just a whole stack of ceramic plates, and they're up against what appears to be a panel on the wall with deep grooves within it. There's a little hmm. string, like, uh, holding all of these things in place. It looks very precarious, um, and looks to be a pseudo-alarm system, um, assuming that this is, uh, what appears to be the other end of a secret door. Oh. Weird. Hey, Cademan, I think I found the thing you keep looking for. You keep touching the walls. He's suddenly from New York. I do look at you. Um, going to the hallway on the left, is have they been down this one before as well? or They looked down it, but they didn't sense anything before. Further look at the thing she pointed at. Okay. Um, if I see that... Can I just like to go down it and see if um, see what my see what uh, my el my eyes can see. Sure, make a perception check as you go down that hallway. What um, do you see with night? eyes unclouded. And yeah, Cademan, you see um, what is what what I described to Blue as well. So Dell, um, as you head on to this other side, you do hear distant muffled noise coming from the northern doorway. Uh, this is another simple wooden door. Uh, do I see the doorway to the south or is that... You do see a doorway to the south. Uh, okay. So we'll go to this door and again try and see the door out. Breaking up a yeah, bit. You're, you're breaking up a bit. That was hard to. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I was going to go to the northern door and see if I could hear what they were talking about. Sure. Um, as you go up to that door, you try and take a listen, um, but uh, it's hard to pick up everything. Um, it sounds as if there might be uh, another hallway beyond that's like causing it to echo. But you do pick up some stray words. They say, Don't worry, we'll get you. No, it's. Look, it's just gonna take a bit. And that's all you hear. Alright. Then I will. back up down to here. Okay. Um, 
so what are you guys doing over there? I want to find a door. There is overtly a door with a stack of ceramic plates leaning up against it. Can we, does it look like something we could like walk past? Through? I have to move. It looks like it opens towards you, and if it opens towards you, it would probably knock over all the ceramic yeah. plates. I want to, well, I think we should first like carefully take the plates and put them aside so we don't trip them like that. Just might want to add, this is uh, southwest, and we want to head ourselves on the southeast side. Um, I hate to break this to you. You're the one that said this that. is east. That's east. You said west and pointed to where Cademan is. Did I? Yeah. Well, I think so. either way, that's that's southeast. Assuming that so, north. That would be the west wall. Yep. You pinged that wall and said it was west. Oh, well, either way, I, I guess that was wrong. <gasps> Christopher! L listen, north is up, up. on the screen. <laughs> this place changes, so I didn't know if it like changes the fuck around. I did not change the orientation. Okay. You do not worry. Uh, I will go over to here um, and just inform the group. Uh, so, definitely sounds like there's some more folks on yeah. the other, down that other corridor. Um, there are a couple more doors over there. Her folk voice coming through and talking from down there, but I don't know if that's where we need to go or if you found something down here that we can go to. Did they seem nice? It Might seemed more like they were interested in getting somebody out, but I don't know if that's getting them out of a prison, out of a bind, out of a sticky situation, or what. But I don't know if they were nice or if they were just more in a bind. They have pleasant voices. DM? <laughs> uh, the voices sounded kind of gruff. Um... That's the best you could make out. They didn't sound like vampires. No, but they definitely sound a little more like a ruffian than rough, t rough and tumbles, which uh, is not oh. necessarily uncommon from Skullport. So, I mean, I sound rough and tumble. I'm gonna start working uh, on those plates at some point. Kinda... Flex. You start flex moving the it. plates out of the way carefully and quietly. You can make like a little fireman's line. You kind of pass them over and stack them up in a spot. these later and get gains <laughs> um okay so we see past the or does it look safe to open the door now uh it is once you move the plates out of the way uh as you uh there's a little niche that you can get your hand into and you can start pulling the door towards you uh, as it starts scraping along the ground the uh, stone kind of rings out makes a bit of a noise but not as much as it would have made uh, and the door opens on the other side is another small wooden door almost immediately on the other side can I perception the other side of it? sure can I hear anything? You don't hear anything on the other side. Uh, yeah, it's good. The door seems to be untrapped. I open it carefully and slowly. Slowly and carefully open the door, leading to a hallway. There's a dead vampire in the upper right north east region the bb i think that is your friend mm. i believe so oh the east the east what the hell huh? y'all been down this one before mm. this weird we... where we started See anything at all? Uh, actually, it's just a dead end. you do. You see that there are two.
two small uh, holes in this stone wall at about mm, four feet up. Should I investigate to see what they are, I guess? I'll try it. Well, just holes. Uh, yeah. So, you uh, just look at the holes and they seem to be uh, probably built in there at some point. How big are they? So they're, are they like... they're about an inch in diameter. Each. Hmm. Anyone I got like... some pythons on them? I do. I have pythons. Maybe see if Take we can two slide of those. push or poke it or something. Take my two pythons and see if they fit in there and push on them and see if that does anything. You put a pitten into the hole. It doesn't seem to do anything. You put it in the other hole and nothing else, else seemed to happen there. Anybody else want to give a uh, shot to see what that is? Oh, uh, yeah, let me... Fun. Uh, so, for you, Del, um, you don't see anything, uh, unusual about them. It doesn't appear to be a trap of sorts. In fact, when you put your eyes level to it, you can actually see there's some dim light coming from the other side. So it definitely seems like there's some, well, there's something going through here over on the other side, but... I don't know necessarily a way we can get through it, maybe? Lost it. Uh... Oh, so, uh, as you come over and notice what everybody's investigating, uh, you note that there is a seam along the wall. Uh, it seems to outline uh, a ten-foot square. Huh. Um, is the, the light, the outline, is it just <clears throat> the shape of the stone, or is it, like, all light? Uh, it seems saying? to be almost level with the corners of the room and the floor and the ceiling. Okay. Okay, describe it one more time, sorry. There's a, a square outline, like a seam, along okay. the... Corners of the floor, walls, and ceiling. Looks like a... okay. Going oh. up this way, or I guess looking around, is there a lever or anything that we may have missed? Uh, it doesn't seem so. Most of the walls are pretty bare. Did uh, did you leave your pittens in there? I I assumed he just took them out after right. nothing happened. Yeah, I... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab my pittens and I'm gonna see if I can put them in. And I'm gonna try and slide this door into either the floor, the ceiling, or either of the adjacent walls. Make an athletics assist. check. Can I assist? You certainly can. Paul, oh, hell yeah. BB. Yeah. Uh, as you are uh, pulling, uh, using the pittens as like a sort of handles, the wall does appear to move. It scrapes off to the left-hand side, uh, revealing a passage beyond, or rather, Whoa. passage through to a chamber beyond. Oh, you see shit. a room that is rather empty. It's covered in sand on the floor, with lots of trash and detritus. Uh, there's a gaping hole in the ceiling with a distant uh, glowing orange light coming from uh, far above. And there are shields lining the inside walls of that chamber. Is there a way to slide the door back? There is. Uh, like, could I walk around the other side, grab those same pittens and then come back over like i don't yeah. know how much space okay uh it didn't slide completely open uh it just went to where you stopped where the, the pittens were yeah it but might... it 
it made enough if space we... for you to uh, get through. If we do have to come back running this way, it might be better if we left a gap rather than closing it straight. Mm. Or is or no? Is this the uh, where the uh, pit down from the tavern up above is from? You do recognize this room as being the place that you all have entered the uh, Damn it. under mountain from. Yeah, I think we're good. We can just keep on moving. Let's just slide that closed. We're good. Well, now we have a shortcut. This is true. Shortcut to the side right. of the place we don't even need to be. Well, fight me about it. This is madness. It's the dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, oh, right, that's the end of the map. Man. Hold on a second. Uh, southeast. Southeast. Much uh, get you guys proper space. Hold I'm gonna on. search the corner of this landing zone. Okay. Make an investigation check while like I'm the walls and setting stuff. up. Oh, that's the old new. That's how old this map is. Fuck. <laughs> we all day. Yeah, you guys kind of suck at searching things. Not gonna lie. Rude ass. Hey, I said I wasn't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move you guys over. I had to recreate some characters. Ooh, look at that there. investigation roll. Alright, uh. Yeah, you guys don't see anything interesting about this room other than the secret passage that you guys found. You do see that there are holes on the other side uh, from whence you closed the door. Um, you note now that they probably look like they could be peepholes from their height and distance apart from each other. Peepholes? Peepholes. Peepholes. Well, that doesn't surprise me considering how much Halaster is appearing to be a boyer. Uh, I guess we need to. I don't know. What did... I feel like the way to skull board wouldn't be hidden. That doesn't. That sounds silly. So we just got to keep going, right? Yep. Dell, from your history, uh, knowing skull port, it is like deliberately quite hidden. Hack. Jesus. Yeah, it's a city of thieves and rogues. It's not. It's not Candyland. And ain't Candyland. It ain't gonna be. It doesn't let itself. People there don't. They don't go there to be found. They go there to get lost. Get lost. <laughs> so every time anyone says once you get lost, is that where they end up? Probably. Magically, of wow. course. I've always wondered. Magically. Uh, it's an incantation. Chris, I don't think I have my uh, penis. Torch. Light thing. You can go to the uh, journal and drag one in. I have a... Uh, is there a different way I was getting it? Because I was using light from my shield. Oh, yeah, there was. Um, shit, hold on. essentially just going to be like always casting light on my shield whenever it like runs out whatever periodically is that a cantrip yeah. yeah can you light my horns uh he can only have one lit thing at once but he could Wait. yes that would be like a torch for all of us because it would be above us all yeah, my shield is efficient. Yeah, in the way you're looking. And we will. You guys have all been through here before, right? Mm-hmm. Allegedly. It's been, it's been so long. It's been. That's what I heard too. Mm. Copyright. No singing. Uh, Cademan. 
as you're yeah. passing through this hallway, uh, you relight your lantern, or your shield. Uh, I guess you didn't need it in the past hallway, maybe that's why. Um, something strange crosses your eye as you're passing through this hall. Are you having any flashbacks? <laughs> it's hitting your fucking brain. It looks like a little walking brain. <laughs> Cademan yeah. grabs his head and just looks at the ground. Shinra. No. Sephiroth. Shinra. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he is the captain now. Fucking Voldemort's here. Put <laughs> your scar. Uh, I just need to get my thingies right. Um, uh. way to keep me in suspense. Do do do. Sorry for the delay. Mana mana. Do 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 do. do, do, do. <laughs> Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna. I, I finished. Um, <laughs> Cademan. Copyright. There is a. Uh, it's it's actually way over here. Uh, so, Cademan, there is a strange, uh, sort of, um, recess that you can see. Uh, as your light passes over one of the reliefs, uh, the light seems to pass deeper than it should, and it seems to be coming from over here, behind a statue of a giant pig-like demon with two tiny wings and a uh, gaping hippo-like face. Oh, fucking I think way back in the day I nat 20 that check, so I know exactly what that thing is. Yes, it is a Nalfeshni, a uh, demon relating to hunger uh, and devouring the flesh of the innocent. Um, but you think that there might be some sort of secret here. There's something beyond this statue. I detect and magic. I can't see shit, but somebody else can try and... I detected magic. Scava secrets. You did not detect magic. It's a, a, above Cademan. You did not detect any magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't cast a spell, you cast. Look at my... <laughs> if I'm looking for a Look secret door, light. it's that advantage, so... Uh, so Del, with your assistance, uh, you're kind of looking it up as Cademan points out that uh, something seems off about it. Um, and you kind of nod, yep, there's probably a secret door here. Uh, as you start grabbing at the bas relief um, of the Nalfeshni demon, you uh, twist its sort of Audi uh, navel, and uh, it sinks in. And then the bas relief sinks in as well. Uh, there's a sort of rush of dust through the cracks uh, surrounding this square like relief uh, as it tilts open inward. Let me do that. What's an Audi? Now it's an Innie. There is oh. a uh, sort of hewn stone tunnel beyond. Uh, this looks like a passage to Skullport. Hate all of us so much. Stay close. Stay close. The tunnel seems to slope downward um, as you head in through this uh, narrow area. There is a faint sewage smell uh, reaching your nostrils until you find a room that is filled with water. Uh, it's about... It's about one foot deep here. Uh, and you just see the splash uh, as your feet enter this water. Um, your torchlight is like flickering, casting uh, a sort of uh -oh. luminescence around the room. Uh, as you start wading into the room, it seems to be getting slightly deeper and deeper. There is also a statue at the far end of this room that's revealed by your light shield. It's in a wide alcove in the north wall, 
There's a life-size life-size statue of a fish person submerged up to its chest in sewer water. There is a dim purple radiance glowing about it, and its head is completely turned around as if it's just facing the wrong way. One of its arms has broken off and is nowhere to be seen. I detect so magic. <laughs> uh, okay, so you detect magic. Um, it's glowing purple. What's it doing? It appears, get this, to be magical. Appears. Uh, Y'all want me to play my flute again? Uh, anybody, anybody, anybody want to hear me play the flute again? Perhaps we should be quiet for now. Anybody want to hear me play the flute again? Oh, anybody. Quiet it's means one, no flute. It's one thing if it's a people and humanoids. It's another thing if it's something that has its head turned on backwards. Is a fish person and sunk in half deep in sewer water. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm much obliged for freeing me from the stone, but uh, I don't trust that creature. Yes, you should not. Now, if I walk towards it, how deep am I in water? Uh, you're getting, like, okay. up to... Uh, deep, yeah, you're about waist deep here. If you head any further, it'll start getting more, like, up to your, like, uh, chest... If I go to the edge of the wall and then keep following the edge, does it still get deeper? It does. It seems to descend uh, as you get westward in this room. You want it's to send your little pool. old friend off, go swimming down the edge, see what's down there. Oh, I want to make him invincible first. Okay. That's even more clever. Bean turns invisible. All right, Bean is a frog right now, so... He has a swim speed. Shoo! Uh, Bean starts swimming uh, beneath the water, just like taking small dips up into the air for breath, but is Oops. relatively undetected. Uh, Bean heads over into the uh, southwest corridor, where there appears to be just a small alcove. Um, after dipping under the water, Bean doesn't see much else here. Uh, it's just... How deep is this corner? It's about five feet, six feet deep. And how yeah. and how deep is it over here? It's about four or five feet deep. So this thing is ten feet tall? I'd say, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, uh, well, I'm gonna stare at it from right here. Right from right here. Like, why can't... Okay, I guess I'm gonna sit in this square. I guess, can I swim up to it and see if I, or at least, like, kind of wade up to it and see if I can, um, if they can, whether or not it's supposed to twist something, or see whether or not it's supposed to move, like, turn the head and see or... Okay, I kind of get the gist of what you're saying, um, <laughs> though you are breaking up, um, oh, sorry. but you do, uh, grasp at the head of the statue, uh, you're able to, like, uh, just kind of climb up about up it slightly, and as you grab the statue uh, by its head, it does appear to move as you uh, scrape it uh, along presumably threads beneath it. Um, you slowly turn the head towards you, um, and it starts to right itself. Uh, it's got a mouth agape, um, and its eyes are hollow. Uh, your hand is like in its mouth like as you turn it, and it seems to be uh, completely hollow in the head. Um, it's just surrounding empty space. Uh, as you do this, uh, something begins to tickle your brain. Oh, good. Oh, boy. oh good. Uh, I'm going to need you to make an intelligence saving throw. This is not a trap. I mean, it is, but it's not. Seven. <laughs> this is not a trap. It is, but it's not. It's weak. It's all weak. It's like the brain things. Hmm. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, sometimes it takes a while for roll 20. Um, poor little thing. Uh, so, as uh, this uh, sort of mental shrieking starts to grow inside of your head, uh, you kind of, like, let go of the statue and grasp at your skull, which feels like it's gonna, like, rip through your head, but you're able to calm yourself down uh, as you start just sort of shouting to yourself. Um, and before you know it, uh, this strange uh, statue seems to have this molten sort of aspect to it climbing out from around its back as a pseudopod lashes out towards you. Uh, and I'm going to say that that has advantage and it is going to hit you. Yep. You take 12 total damage, two of which is bludgeoning, 10 is acid, and an ooze sloughs off of the top of this statue and begins to attack. Let's roll for initiative, shall we? And my AC is reduced by one, right? Sorry? My AC is reduced by one. Yes, that also happens as well. Uh, you are wearing scale mail armor, and it corrodes underneath of this ooze's uh, corrosive form. Uh, as it splatters against you, you kind of splash off into the water uh, and backpedal away from it, just barely recovering. Um, let's get the initiative order going. Del, you actually have the initiative. Uh, okay. So, bonus section. Mark. Okay. Uh, job. Uh, then going to can I squeeze over to there? Um, I'm gonna say it's going to be difficult to do that. Um, just because of the way it's positioned, it kind of came off of the statue, and the statue is taking up a lot of the space. So I'm gonna say no. All right. Then I would move to there. To there, I guess, um, and make three attacks against it. All right, uh, you whip out your mace and short sword. Uh, I also might be able to fix this um, seeming discrepancy here. Well, I'd rather use a mace at this point in time for, although I don't even know if my dad will necessarily do anything, but. Okay, uh, so your mace does hit uh, with its first and second attacks. And then the third one also has a D8 of damage. Uh, Oof. Um, it is getting rough to hear you. Third one? Something about third one? Doing... Sounds like a robot. <laughs> uh, the third one, I think, deals a D8 bonus. Is that what you were saying? Yes. Okay, and that's from uh, Dread Ambusher? Yeah. Okay, uh, so just roll an extra d8. You can go to the left-hand side where the die icon is. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, here, I'll roll the d8. Oh, you got it. Cool. Uh, so, all three of your mace attacks hit. Um, one of them I'm going to say was a short sword because it's the two-handed weapon, two-handed fighting thing. Um, but it doesn't... No, it's all one-handed because I have to use my bonus action to attack with the offhand. Oh. Oh, yeah, and you just have two attacks. Got it. Uh, okay. So, yeah, those all hit. Those all deal damage. Uh, that's a total of... Nine, 19. Boy, math is hard at night. Uh, 28, 29, 31. Is that 38 damage? I think it is. 
Yeah, 38. Uh, okay, yeah. As the creature jumps off uh, and lunges towards you, uh, you just start whacking away at it. Um, and uh, after three smacks, the creature just squeals, 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 and then crumbles. Uh, it dissipates into little tiny pieces and floats away in the water. <laughs> That's it, all right. Uh, yeah, right. it dead. Okay. Yeah. However, your weapon, uh, as you look up at it, it seems to be melting away. You quickly, like, uh, like shake off uh, some of the ooze that's on it, but it now has a permanent minus three penalty to it. Oh. Wow. Okay. You have a, you have a mushy, mushy mace. It is a mushy mace. It's a noodle. Noodle. <laughs> uh, this is oh, to. Uh, this is just to damage rolls, apparently. Just to damage? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's combat. Cool. Uh, let's just uh, <laughs> move on and just. Whatever. Let's not give a shit. Time to go to the That was easy. So was there no other uh, thing after... else happened when he turned that statue head? No, he didn't Do really... Do you want me to play my flute? Let me know. <laughs> Bless you. I, I, guess... I think Alex that's Ben Downey. <laughs> oh, Alex. Oh, yeah, could Alex. be. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, the head uh, is almost like tilted back, or almost turned back into a front-facing position, but not quite. So we all got soggy and wet for nothing. Uh, Did then we... I guess I... Did we turn that turn head to... to make it... Yeah, it's uh... So cool. <laughs> you turn the head of this glowing purple, uh, statue until it's facing forward, but nothing seems to happen. Um... Hmm. Can I, real quick, you said its arm was, like, dislodged, right? Mm-hmm. Can I, real quick, like, go under water and see if I can... ...the missing arm? Yeah, uh, just make an investigation check. Scan Gosh. the area. Um, yeah, that's about right. Uh... Okay, well, you look around and uh, fumble about the ground, and you find a lot of rubble, but eventually you do find, uh, after coming up, uh, you do find the stone arm to this thing. It's massive and would probably be difficult to pick up by yourself. Does it look like it could be attached back to the statue, or is that just... Well, it's stone. Uh, the way that it's positioned, it would probably just fall off. Right. So it's like broken off. It's yeah. not like it doesn't look like it is attachable. Lever that could be put back in or anything like that. No. It doesn't seem so. Okay. I think there's uh, another hallway that we can definitely try out before we decide to go and wait around in this filth anymore. Yeah, because how deep is it like this way that's about five six feet deep yeah. can i have bean do an investigation check around the underwater yeah have bean make an investigation all right uh... oh my god <laughs> well, that's a number <laughs> how does that happen because you have a minus two. Investigation uh, or uh, inspiration? Oh, uh, I might as well, yeah. Because it's. it's yeah. Uh, so as Bean is searching around the underwater. Um, wait, wait, I want to use my inspiration. Hold on. Skirt. Uh, Hold on, I gotta get rid of it. What? They're investigating over here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use my inspiration because uh, I feel like he didn't find anything. So look harder. Okay. Look harder. I'm working this. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, Cademan and uh, Bean. Cademan, you don't see anything unusual in that alcove, and as for Bean searching about the entire room in a frenzy, um, you don't really see anything on the ground either, except for a few uh, bones at the base of the statue, but that's about it. No coins or anything underwater? None that you could find. Oh. Alright. Guess we go back. Uh huh. Aside from anything with the with just the head, is there anything else about the statue that I or felt? Because the wall was like the inside of the head was hollow. Uh -huh. Like, could I reach up inside and see whether there's anything inside the head that I could grab? Sure. Um, you do so, and inside there does appear to be something. Uh, there is. A, uh, a sort of hole inside uh, that, as you reach your hand deeper into, uh, it looks like it would have been stopped uh, had you not screwed it, but otherwise your hand continues um, and you find a little compartment inside of the statue. It contains uh, what seems to be a lump of melted wax. It looks like uh, there are several burnt wicks in there as well. Candle! Anyone have a candle? Yeah, uh, did I hear bag. what? <laughs> candle? Candle. Yeah, you picked Sorry, up a bag I was of them. In a, I was in there. What was that? Uh, they've, they've said it's a candle that they were oh, asking. Oh, a candle. For. I didn't hear it because I was halfway through a tunnel. Yes, I have yeah, candles. Uh, so. uh, could you pass one to me? I have a candle. Alright, I'll take the candle. I'll use a flint to light it and then stick it up in inside its head. Mm. Right. Uh, you do so. The statue lights up like a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, you can see the light emerging from its eyes, uh, as well as its mouth, and, um, <laughs> hold on a second, uh, it's really cool. I'm gonna mute someone, <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so the, uh, statue, um, the purple light starts to glow just a bit brighter, uh, it sheds throughout the room, and then uh, you guys feel a strange feeling pass over you guys. And... I started leaving the room and sort of in the tunnel. Okay, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> I didn't any... realize everybody was staying, so Blue was walking away, getting ready to find the other way. That's fine. Uh, Newt, uh, or were you over there as well? It seems like you moved. You're muted right now. Don't forget to unmute. Sorry, I'm just trying to limit background noise. Um, oh, yeah, I'm in the hallway. I'm, I'm a little nervous about what's going on. Okay. Um, so uh, this strange purple light uh, passes over each of you. And uh, you feel slightly different, but you're not sure how. Bullshit. Hmm. Yay. But does it light up anything in and around, like, on the walls or in the water? It does not. But you all are, well, the three of you are glowing a dim purple light now. Okay. Uh, why am I still a man? You are still a man. Okay. <laughs> just checking, yeah. That's... No particular reason why, just checking. It's a good thing to check every now and then. <laughs> uh, so we're just dimming purple? Yep, you're just dimly um, glowing purple. Then I guess pop down and kind of check over in this hallway again, see what anything was 
had changed. Uh, uh, nothing uh, seems to have changed. Mute. Mute. Yo. Detect magic. Please, I, I have a, a feeling. Hello. When she enters the room, does she also start glowing purple, or was it still just for me, the three of us? Uh, she does not seem to take on this glowing quality. What's going on with you guys? Well, they, they appear to be emanating some form of transmutation magic. Oh no. Nope, don't like that. Uh, hold on, uh... Uh, you said it's transmutation. Uh, do I know anything about it because I'm a witch doctor, kind of? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have you make an arcana check. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Darn, it's magical. I used religion because I didn't know if it was... Yeah, magic and the ins and outs of magic is more of an arcana thing. Um... Okay. So, you determined that uh, transmutation tends to be something in the form of uh, changing one thing into another. Like, you could transmute gold into iron, or vice versa. But it could also be changing, like, the shape or makeup of a creature. Um... It's often used for shape-changing spells like polymorph, oh my God. but it's also used for like buff and debuff spells to hinder or help your uh, foes and allies. Hey, Dal. Can I duck my head under the water and see if I can breathe water? Hey, Dal. Uh, Dell ducks his head under the water as you shout for his name. Um, Del, you swallow a bunch of sewer water uh, and start coughing <laughs> as you get up out of the water. And it does not appear to be gross. giving you the power to breathe underwater. Gross. Gross. A for effort. Hey, Del. Hey, hey Del. Yeah. Do you... Does any of this seem familiar to you? Um, Before you turned into a statue? I, Would I remember anything? You no, you turned into a statue from a basilisk. You do remember that. Uh, you did okay. not find this secret room in your previous travels. Okay, because oh, I'm just everybody. I'm just feeling a little bit nervous that if it happens slowly, that you guys are gonna turn into statues. Oh, down the hallway we go. What's taking you all so long? That we're moving. Coming, you grouchy old man. Oh my god. <laughs> Is uh. Ooh. I yes, so. um, oh. What's up? Purple through this as I walk down the hallway. Uh, yeah, you do appear uh, to remain purple as you pass through the hallway. Yeah, uh, we've got places to be, things to go, and the hell all y'all being purple. What is that about? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, just spitting up some sewer water. Ugh. Does it bring out the color of my eyes? What color are your eyes? Green. Green. You look like a Disney villain. Yeah. Like just the eye part, the green eyes and the purple haze. Like you could, you could pass for like a World of Warcraft character. Yeah. Just with random <laughs> glowing shit going on. <laughs> Everyone else is just no purple. Gin, but we're good. Alright, yeah. what, what hallway did we look up while we wait for our imminent demise of transmutation? We're supposed to head on south. Uh, okay, you guys head off into this uh, chamber with all the pillars, passing by the warning once more. The bugbear corpses are nowhere to be found, but there are splatters of blood where they once, where their bodies once were. Can we go down this hallway? No. Uh, you have not gone down this hallway. You vaguely looked right. down it. But... We're almost time, right? Yeah. I know, uh, Kyla, you said that you weren't able to stay beyond 10, so I don't want to try and go too late. Um, so I think we should explore this hallway in the south next time. No! <laughs> Cliffhanger. 
Mm. You guys had to do. Uh, you guys had to do a bit of backtracking this session, uh, but otherwise, uh, still some adventures to be had. Uh, met a strange head. Uh, fought a completely useless ooze. Um, Wasn't completely useless. Uh, ate a mace. Yeah, it ate a mace. Um, uh, oh yeah, and there was a, the the strange tavern that you guys met in the uh, down deeps of the. Uh, I hate you. The undermountain. Anywho, uh, not much happened this time, uh, but hopefully they will explore more of the dungeon next time. Uh, we'll see you all next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, don't forget, uh, we didn't get really any subs this session, and I didn't really roll any crits, uh, but please don't let that stop you from donating to the Massachusetts Bail Fund. You can find the link in the About session of this uh, video. And, um, yeah, see you next time. Have a good one, Bye. everyone. Bye, everybody. Peace. Bye.